it's not going to be a drama stream. Um, hey there, Joe. Joe, you should have a VIP tag uh, badge now. Um, I'm okay, Gemma. I got um, got a pretty solid core workout in right before stream, um, <clears throat> and then uh, <laughs> the shit I admit. The shit I admit on stream. I got a I got a nice little core workout in, and then I got a nice little um, <clears throat> five f five five finger uh, workout in. Just just you know, clear the senses. <sighs> um, hey, you're welcome, Joe. Um, fiasco. I don't call it a fiasco. I did see the clip today though, and it's fucking pathetic. Uh, <laughs> intro to, to DJ in 30 seconds. Speed running. Um, look, I saw the clip and yeah, I'm making fun of leftists. I'm, I'm making fun of my team. Yeah. If you're dumb enough to watch that and start saying Vosh is a Nazi. Yeah. I'm going to make fun of you a little bit. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're fucking dumb as dumb as shit. Um, yeah. Um, it's the clip of Vosh and non-compete. Uh, and Vosh is using a Socratic methodology to investigate um, um, non-competes uh, moral and ethical system. Of which, not good. Not good. It was not good. Yeah. Um, but mainly what I'm making fun of uh, Viva, no, I'm not, I'm not going to fucking get into drama. What I'm doing is making fun of the Twitter leftists, which I do regularly, um, that immediately started like Vosh is a Nazi meme. And it's like, yeah, okay, cool. <clears throat> Knowing history now makes you a Nazi. We're doing that. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that arc. Uh, we're going to do that arc as, as leftists, apparently. That's 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 just gonna be a thing. Like, if you happen to know history, you're now a Nazi. I mean, you feel free to call him an idiot, but I mean, he was right. It was weird. It was weird, and non compete like melted down, and it was hilarious. It was like I can't do this, and he fucking disconnected the call. It was like Jesus Christ. But my issue mainly was with all the other idiots. So my my issue my issue is with all of the terminally online left. Um, that just you know, so yeah, I'm making fun of them a little bit in my title, but we're not gonna get into it. Um, dude, it wasn't it's drama. It wasn't it wasn't drama. I mean, it didn't. It wasn't supposed to be drama, but fucking non compete turned it into some shit, and then like the whoosh bad crowd fucking did some shit. Right? Like, it was just like, what is going on? What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with all of you? Um, do you got any articles on the uh, the Ukraine thing, Sunrays? How will these idiots ever debate with actual Nazis? Oh, they couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't. No. No. We, we already know that. Like, as somebody who's actually engaged with real fucking Nazis. Yeah, I, I don't do that, Sunrays. Like, I'm not going to fucking go over to somebody else's stream and that sort of thing. Either you have an article or some source on it, or that's it. You don't... That's not something you're supposed to do on Twitch, even though I know other streamers do it, and they do it all the fuck time. But I'm not supposed to just pull up somebody's stream and go for it. So... Um... Karen, it's because non-compete, I mean, my opinion, it's because non-compete is finally showing those actual ideologies, those actual beliefs, those actual theories. Um, Non-compete's never been a true anarchist. I don't want to know true Scotsman myself here, like into a logical fallacy corner. He's never been a true anarchist. This is the guy that advocated for gulags. He literally, he called them like re-education centers or something. Even creepier, by the way. Even creepier. Um, yeah, 
he was like, oh yeah, we need re-education centers to put the unrepentant capitalists and the the people who don't get on on the program immediately. So we're just you know we're gonna lock them up for a little bit and teach them the ways of the new society. Motherfucker, that's a that that's a gulag. Like, yeah. Keep in mind all of this from a former venture capitalist. Yeah. Yeah, I forget what he rebranded his police as, too, in that scenario. Because he does. He rebrands the police to something else as well. It's, it's the most ideologically inconsistent. Like, oh, I'm an anarchist. No, you're not. He, he wants to be an he wants to be an anarchist but he's he's functionally something along the lines of like maybe an ml um, maybe some libertarian tendencies ah thank you Joe Yeah, no worries, Joe. All right, first off, you need to go the fuck away. Oh, government websites. Do we have... Ah, it's the original. Okay. No, f no further details were immediately available. Oh shit. Somebody somebody call Hazzy two holes. Hall Domer. Uh Uh, Ministry of Education and Science added the troubleshooting is underway as well as cyber police. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I believe in talking to Nazis. I believe in punching Nazis too. But. If you don't give the conversation a chance, then, you know, I mean, what, what are you going to do, though? Like, if, like an actual, <coughs> an actual neo-Nazi? Yeah, I've talked to a couple of them on air. Uh, we had a Swedish neo-Nazi um, that I brought on air to talk to. Um, I've, I've talked to a couple of them uh, on air. Um, in real life, I've talked to a bunch, actually, over the years. Um, and not like some leftist, re they're a Nazi! I mean, actual, actual neo-Nazis. Um, I think there's benefit to having the conversation. I think there's always benefit to having the conversation. I think that even in the face of uh, the Nuremberg trials, governments from around the world sent psychologists to speak to Nazis. Right? Like, we, we wanted to talk to these people. We wanted to know what was going on in their heads. We wanted to understand them further. There's always um, um, room for personal growth. And while there may not be room for their side, there is for your side. There's, there's always an insight one can glean, personally, I believe. Um, there's a reason to talk to them. Um, if only to firm up your own beliefs. Yeah, exactly, L. And see, L, resident philosopher, right? I've talked to a bunch of Nazis, too. I learned a lot from these experiences, but I don't recommend it for everybody. Yeah, like, look, I mean, L, L, I'm, 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 I'm going to throw you a compliment. I'm going to loop you into a compliment here. Some of us have what it takes. 
Um, it's not for everybody, honestly. Like, keep your mental health in, in mind. Like, talking to some of these people can be mildly disturbing, outright, straight up disturbing. But I do believe that there's things to be gained with talking to people. Um, I also believe in punching Nazis. I've gone in length on that, that there's, there's, there's valid discourse to be had um, at the end of a fist. So, yeah. I, I, I believe in it all. Um, I, I, I think that that, I think that, and also keep in mind, <clears throat> on terminally online leftists don't understand what a Nazi is anymore. They don't. They have no idea what a, a neo-Nazi or Nazi or a National Socialist actually is. It, it's it's might as well be fascist. It's fascist. It's it's uh, you're a fascist. Really? Are they? Let's bust out the International Encyclopedia of Political Science really quickly and go into what is fascism, right? Like, you're, they're not a fascist. They're not a fucking Nazi almost all of the time, right? So for us to sit here and go, oh, you should never talk to a Nazi. Like, one, you probably aren't even dealing with a Nazi and you don't even know it because you don't know what the fuck a Nazi is anymore. And two, the only way you're ever going to find that out is if you investigate is if you actually open that dialogue, if you actually engage in the dialectical exercise that MLs love to fucking rattle on about all the time, but never actually do because they're too busy screaming about how you should have been aborted and fucking blah, 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 holodomer, blah, 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 Stalin, blah, 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 now. Um, <clears throat> yes, they've thrown around the term so goddamn much anything right of center is a fucking Nazi. Yeah, I, I, I don't trust anybody who uses the term Nazi for the most part. So... That's that as well. So, uh, Kat, I did. That was pathetic. And the online response was, the, the clip was whatever, Kat. I mean, fucking, we knew non-compete was a bad actor, right? But the online, I looked at the online response. That was what irritated me, was all of the terminally online leftists they're like, fucking Vosh is a Nazi shit. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. This is why we can't have nice things. <clears throat> fucking idiots. Oh, uh, and that's, I mean, you know, yeah. I, I, I just... And, 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 as far as not talking to actual Nazis goes, let's switch the script, let's flip the script a little bit. Daryl Davis. Not all of us, all of us are Daryl Davis. In fact, 99.99999% of us are not Daryl Davis, but Daryl Davis exists. Therefore, we have a case study. Daryl Davis is a black man who has talked over 200 KKK members out of being in the KKK. And he's got a collection of hundreds of fucking clan outfits. All right. There's no point in talking to a clan member. There's no point in talking to a white nationalist. There's no fucking point in talking to any of these people. What are you going to do? Right? Like, Well, L, I'm going to I'm going to put this as nicely as possible. Let me know when you have a track record like his and we'll talk. Until then, his record stands. He can be a bit of a larper if he wants. The fact of the matter is is not many people have pulled off what he has pulled off, even if it is a tenth of what he the numbers that are generally discussed surrounding him. How many clan members have you talked out of being in the clan? Or any of us for that matter. Right? So there's a point to conversation. Is it a stunt? Is it a stunt when you do it repeatedly? Is it a stunt when you actually pull somebody out of the fucking clan and make them a functional citizen of society? Because I think that's like, you know what? That stunt that we pulled in World War II, raid, uh, raid, uh, you know, uh, let me see him, Al. I punched a guy out of a right wing party. Does that count? Um, like, like that is, that is, that's a really shitty way of saying somebody improved the world. You know, that, that fucking stunt that that doctor pulled as far as proving his theory. 
it, it's it's a shit way of saying somebody somebody made did something good in this world. Could have gotten him lynched. Yeah, so what? It's his own it's his own ass he risked. He didn't fucking sign you up. Signed himself up. He's the one having the conversation. He's the one. He's a black man in the deep south dealing with clan members. You think he didn't know that there was a possibility of a lynching? Come on. This this is again why we can't have nice things. Nobody's willing to actually engage in the levels and the depths that they need to engage in on a regular basis. The times that they need to have the conversation, they won't have the conversation because meh. And then the times that they actually need to take action, they won't take action because they're a bunch of fucking snowflakes. Yeah, I just said it. And I also, I'm aware of the origin of the term snowflake. <laughs> so I'm fully aware of the context and uh, uh, the depth when I use that term, right? Like fucking lefties are constantly afraid of like actually engaging unless it's the handful of people that participate in black block, which most of you have never participated in black block. Let's, let's just be honest right there. How many of you motherfuckers have ever donned a balaclava and fucking gone out in black block and done some shit? Don't raise your hands because I don't want you to cr- incriminate yourselves. Do not fucking type answers, but have an honest moment with yourself. How many of y'all motherfuckers ever done some real direct action? So, you know... Like, take your terminally online criticisms and take them down a notch. Of course, Joe, of course. And, and you know, as a German anarchist who kicked around some of the areas you've kicked around, Joe, I would expect you to have. Um, Kaiser's not here. Okay, I, I, won't, I won't be taking a clip from uh, my, that show but I will look at this Okay, case one is just an example of a potential individual taking advantage of Daryl Davis's kind heart. Okay, um, that's case that's case one in this in this whatever this is. Case two is no different than the first one. In fact, it's even weaker. And let's go Frank Akana. What's his deal? Did you read this L? I'm sorry. I, I'm I gotta hit you with the did you read this L? Cause this isn't as damning as anything. Hey Puka. Oh god. Luna. Can we just get rid of her already? Her and fucking non-compete. Can we just get rid of Luna and uh, non-compete? Um, (sighs) 
Jesus Christ, she's a piece of work. All I'm seeing here, L, is if a fucking homeless Nazi white supremacist came up to me while I was volunteering for a Food Not Bombs food, uh, uh, food drive, and we fed him, and he took that food and walked away saying, man, I was starving, but now I have the energy to kick in somebody's fucking head. Am I, like... Because I tried to help a human being, is that, do I get condemned for that? Because Daryl tried and gave the benefit of the doubt, even though maybe he shouldn't have, does he get condemned for that? Because that seems like kind of a shit take, to be perfectly honest. Exactly. <clears throat> yes, you helped a Nazi. Now you too are a Nazi. Ree! Exactly. I'm, I'm fucking sick of terminally online leftists fucking talking about shit, um, about shit they don't know, they've never participated in, they really don't have any experience with, um, and then casting either aspersions, judgments, or fucking even just making comments, quite frankly. Well, then how is he a LARPer? How is he role-playing as somebody who's, how, he's a bit of a LARPer. Live action role-playing, meaning you're not actually engaging in something, you're just pretending to engage in something. How is he a LARPer, L? Um. You think it's performative? Well, his cat, you just responded to yourself. I think, I think a lot of what Malcolm X and Martin Luther King did was performative too, L. I think an element of, of, of change of social change is performative by its very nature. Of course it's performative. I know, I'm just a fucking rank idealist commodity. It's fucking dirty, dirty idealist. Yeah. I mean, getting up and standing in front of a million people, giving a heart-wrenching, moving speech is performative by its very definition. Be suspicious. But you don't have any evidence to prove it otherwise. Like say, saying he's a he's a LARPer, he's a bit of a LARPer. You got nothing. I mean, I'll watch the Minority Report, I suppose, clip. Is it Minority Report? Yeah, whatever. Fucking Sam Cedar. But uh, later, but. Uh, you're, uh, <laughs> face of L'Oreal, you're here to make me laugh at an absurd tweet. What do you got? You know what? You got the laugh. You got the laugh. Congratulations, Solorial. You got the laugh. Here's what it was. It's just, it is. It's just absurd. It's absurd. I like it. Uh, yeah, L, give me a second. I, to Caboose, I don't know either. Yeah, give me, yeah, jump into VC. I'll be there in a second. Um, yeah, like, I don't know why it makes me laugh either, Caboose, but it's it's the right level absurdi of absurdity. Oh, and we'll get onto his dumb ass. Yeah, it's like a dick joke. You're right, Cat. It is. It's in that camp. Well, you know what? While we're doing it, let's do a fucking drama night. Let me, I, Kai doesn't get to bitch about other online people too regularly. You know what? Let's, let's throw the fucking rules out of the window. And let's, let's, let's talk some shit tonight. 
I want to talk some shit. Um, I'll get around to Joe Rogan. Fucking Joe Rogan. And then now that we've got t- hundreds of doctors literally signing petitions now for him to shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. It's this, this happens like what? Once every two years or some shit like that. Let's do this. Hey, what's up, board again? Thanks for the resub, my man. How you doing? Yes, you did your own research. Uh, do I have beef with Hassan today? No, Hassan's not on my target list for today. Um, somebody catch Zippy up. Oh, who the, who the hell knows what exactly Joe Rogan was spouting off that fucking led to the doc COVID misinformation, COVID misinformation as always people. Joe Rogan hasn't shut up with COVID misinformation since the beginning of the fucking pandemic, that meatheaded dummy. Uh, what's up, Al? I'm going to break all my own hey. rules tonight. I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm a, I'm in a bitchy mood, so I'm in a bitch. Um, okay. It, it's rare. Sounds I get, good to me. It's rare. I get to do it. Right. I usually hold my tongue when, when it's concerning other like online streamers and shit like that. But well, uh, I, I also do too, by the way. So I might have to like, you know, be careful about what I say, but, but go right ahead. Well, it yeah. was, it's, it's all cat's fault. It's all cat's fault. Cat, cat sent me the fucking clip of non-compete and Vosh and then the fucking, uh, the, like the response fucking video Vosh did and then the uh, terminally online leftist fucking, Vosh is a Nazi, read. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. And then I, you know, had a good workout, got the testosterone going, you know how that goes and you get that pump going and you're like, I need to do something. <laughs> Yeah, no, I totally get that. I've been following along uh, to some degree with with what's been going on with Vosh and and non compete. Um, I watched the video that Vosh did, um, uh, basically taking apart um, Luna's uh, first video on dialectical materialism or whatever, and then I saw their their debate uh, or whatever. Um, so I'm I'm kind of caught up, but I think things have happened since then that I don't really know about. It just I mean it's all it's, it's fucking we've it, how many times we have to rinse and repeat this cycle with fucking Vosh is a Nazi because he pointed something out to a leftist, right? They're they're more they're more than likely like leftist spaces are more than happy to tolerate Vosh as long as he's dunking on some like shit lib or some tanky or some fucking right winger chud, right? Like they're perfectly happy to accept him then, but the instant he points out some uncomfortable historical fact to a leftist that is contrary to their point immediately he's a fucking nazi and what it, was the thing that he said that that, that he, he was, pointed out he was non-compete? he was using a, a he was using a solid socratic methodology to elucidate what non-competes ethical and moral see mo- i i actually disagree with you there i don't think he was used see i want to be careful about what i say because i don't want to be clipped and I don't want to involve myself in any of this. So, um, yeah, but I disagree with you. I don't think it was a solid Socratic methodology. I don't think that's a fair characterization. Uh, Um, I do. I do. He was, he was, I know he was using, he was using more, he was was using more, (laughs) he was using more questioning than he was driving points. He was trying to get him to, I, I don't think he was, I don't think he was representing his own view fair enough in that perspective, in that, in that in- interaction. Well, he was I think he was kind of bullying non-compete. Well, honestly. non-compete needs bullied. I'd be, I, wait, what's that? Non-compete needs bullied. I'm, I'll fucking... Uh, that I, may be, I that will may be the case, bite but that I, bullet. I don't necessarily think that was like this, a, this is the dude, a good way of going about it. This is the dude who, yeah. unironically, as an anarchist, said we need gulags. Right? Like, this this guy... Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I think he believed... I believe he called them anarchist re-education centers. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know anything about that. Yeah, he's um, he's he, yeah. yeah, and as Cat pointed out, he's literally been on state media in Vietnam, right? Like it, it's and he re- he represents himself as an anarchist, right? Like this is somebody who. Well, I'm not necessarily against a person who, who lives in Vietnam being on the media in Vietnam. I, I don't know what that means exactly. Let's just say it's an interesting look for uh, somebody who lays claim to being an unabashed anarchist. Let's just put it that way. 
Um, okay, if, I'm not necessarily sure if I agree with that in that particular context, but, if I, but maybe if you're I, right if, about that. You know, you may you it, you seem to know anarchism better than if I. If I if to I started honest. appearing on RT, yeah, w- we'd have questions, wouldn't we? Like, yeah, I would. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it's 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 like wait a second, um, but you know, yeah, he. He's, but you, you don't live in Russia either. Um, okay, so what would our what if I started appearing on OAN? Yeah, I would have questions. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah. you know, yeah, it's 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 an it's weird given all of his positions, given his partner, given the things he's stated over the years, right? And Vosh is just trying to figure out what the fuck this dude believes, right? Like what what are your ethical and moral frameworks? Because basically what he was saying at one point was that um the reason that the genocide, the, the reason that the Holocaust happened was because the Germans believed that there was a disproportionate amount of Jewish, uh, Jewish individuals in finance and banking. And Vosh pointed out that there was a disproportionate amount of Jewish individuals in finance and banking, both due to historical and contemporary reasons, right? But the statistics are there. And non compete but i think he was talking if i don't if i remember correctly non compete was talking about the jewish question like version of of the of this idea Vosh's, of Vosh's, jewish people being in banking not not just the the fact of there being a disproportionate amount of people who are jewish in banking for the Vosh's point was he didn't have any f- actual framework for his ethical framework i thought that he did have a framework I, from my perspective it seemed like he was trying to describe so it seemed like he was trying to describe a kind of like a pragmatic framework of ethics and a pragmatic framework of epistemology, but uh, from his perspective as a like a person who's steeped in dialectical materialism or whatever, which he was talking about it in those terms, and I, I'm not very familiar with those terms, but I agreed with a lot of the propositions that he was making. It, it, I did anyway. Um, study yeah. dialectical materialism more than please. Um, I, 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 yeah, I've studied pragmatism, so that's, that's where I'm coming yeah, from. And it, Viva, but, but Viva, from my perspective as a, as a person who's studied pragmatism, he, he wasn't saying things that were outside of my framework. Even, even the German in, in the chats, like, yeah, no, there was no framework. Like, it, it, I, I don't, it I don't, was, I'm not saying that he, he that was German in the chat may know better than me. I'm just telling you my opinion. You know? it, it, yeah. it was, it was uncomfortable because he didn't have one. His entire... I didn't agree with that. I don't necessarily agree with that. If he had one, if he had a framework to fall back on, he wouldn't have lost his fucking mind and hung up the call. No, he. I didn't see it that way from my perspective, he, That's Kai. exactly I, I what he did. That's not even a no, perception. I, well, he literally started screaming I, and disconnected the call. He did do that, but that's not how. Well, that's not the reason that he dropped the call from my perspective. It, I, but I could be wrong. It's just my. I have a different interpretation of the events. That's all. Um, uh, but my interpretation could be could be wrong. Uh, but my interpretation was that he wasn't interested in entertaining the hypotheticals that Vosh was offering because that's he because thought Marxists that it was don't believe in hypotheticals point, anymore. What's that? Marx. It's because Marxists don't believe in hypotheticals anymore. And non-compete's not an anarchist. He's a Marxist. No, it was because he was saying that in, or, in order for, for a person to, you know, make a claim about something or to understand, you know, something or to, to you know, yeah, to, to, to make a conclusion about something, you should base it in a, a material uh, analysis or empirical evidence rather than just, you know, inane uh, intuitions that you, you derive from, from, you know, inane thought experiments or any except, hypothetical except he had uh, this is no, what i thought he, he was trying to he say. had no materialist conditions to fall back on to defend his his supposed non-existent in my opinion ethical framework that he was trying to fall back on uh what, what do you mean what, what, what he had, how did he, he not had fall back no on materialism? framework he was uh, in in even in your analysis he was attempting to advocate for a materialistic or and i disagree with the pragmatic yes. but a materialistic uh uh um uh, uh, version of this analysis the reason but i say prag- had the reason i say pragmatic is just because it's like 
from my, the way I look at pragmatic is it's science based. It's based in in empirical evidence. It's based in experience, experience, and so that's why I see it as relatively equivalent to where he was coming from. So what did um, so what did he do with that empirical, that materialistic uh, uh, framework that he lives his life by when confronted with an empirical fact about the era? He screamed and hung up the call. Um. I, yeah, no, you can definitely see it that way. I, I just, I, that's I just, that's how I, the I world it saw it, L. That's how the world but, saw it. That's how the world saw it. Most of us saw a fucking listen, child. Listen, I'm not throw saying that the world it, it didn't see it that way or not. I'm just telling you how I saw it. I could be completely wrong and the world could be, could be completely right. But I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to be honest with you about what I saw. That's all. Except, yeah. Except there um, was no material analysis there. There was no the, the the thing that you're ascribing to him. He failed to yeah. produce entirely and took his toys and ran home. Well, to be fair, at a certain point, you can only like reference materialism or or appeal to materialism. Uh, you know, you can't necessarily go into uh, what like go and do some science experiments at that moment. You know, like you can only you can only make gestures at these sorts of things in a in a particular piece of rhetoric. You can't necessarily go to you know the the deepest depth so, of, so what of I'm empirical hearing is he was, evidence so, with every point so that you make. He was engaging in a space and in a manner that his ideology doesn't prepare him to do. He was unprepared for that outside of that true. ideology well clearly he doesn't have the I don't time think he was, to do it i don't think he was prepared to deal with with vosh's rhetoric i think that's true but i don't necessarily think it's true that his ideology isn't up to the task of of uh you know uh, uh up to any particular task i'm not sure i would have to analyze the task and analyze how his ideology you know fails or succeeds in that way uh vivo what you got vivo what you got hang on uh, with the base, he non I don't mean to be up, contrarian, Kai. I just, I just, you know, this is just how I, oh, I see yeah, it. Oh, yeah, no, I uh, mean, that, that is, that was what fucking Vosh was attempting to point out, Viva, that, um, with, with the, 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 uh, the, well, I'll, I'll extend this generosity, the, the pragmatic, the materialistic base that, uh, non-compete attempted to create or set up for the foundation of his argument what he would have had to have done when confronted with that empirical evidence that in fact there was a disproportionate amount of Jewish individuals within the finance and banking industry within the Weimar Republic at the time, he would have had to agreed that the Nazis were then justified in what they did. No, 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 he wouldn't. He could he could clarify his his point about how he wasn't talking about just the disproportionate amount. He was talking about, you know, the conspiracy theory that people jump to as a result of of knowing except this, he didn't this, uh, he read amount. and disconnected he didn't, and he didn't i think that he didn't bother i don't think it was a matter of him having an inability L, what would to happen in the middle of a, what would happen in the middle of a college debate if you fucking threw your papers to the ground and walked out well we're, but what i would, agree what, with what you. would happen uh, come on what would people, happen people in a would think board that you meeting lost the debate. what exactly non people would got think that you lost the debate non but that's got not necessarily true to even in that case yes it is because no, you because like if 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 the person who 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 was in that college debate had was smarter and actually had a better point, but just was frustrated and didn't want to deal with the situation and thought the thing was was a toxic environment, uh, the 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 majority of the people in that room when that person stormed out would think that that person who stormed out was a fool and that they lost the debate, but they would be wrong. How are debates scored, L? Well, from my perspective, I don't give a shit. I, I care about what's true. I don't necessarily care about how debates are scored. Non-compete operates under the title of anarchist. He was unable... Yes, anarcho-communist. He was unable to have a logically consistent discussion with a known shit lib. And in, by the end, what he did was literally I disagree scream with the idea that he wasn't and run consistent. from the room. 
he didn't finish his ideological. He no, he, of course he was ideologically inconsistent. He f- he fled from the problem when when it was put before him multiple times. With the classic I don't example, see it is, that way. You see it that way, but I see it as as him having been you know just you're, you're, you're tired of it uh, and frustrated by it and thinking that it wasn't that it was toxic and i'm not saying that he was right in doing in making this conclusion by the way i i would have behaved differently if i was him i think as you know but i but i i do think this was what he I, this is what i saw and what i interpreted of how he of why of what he did um yeah but I could be wrong, and you could be right. I'm, I'm not saying that you're not that you're that you don't have a point here. They've uh, chat has already played coping over you. We, they can't really hear us. Say again. Chat has started playing co- a tanky's coping over you. Over me? Yeah. I'm not a tanky. I'm I'm, a, I'm an anarchist. <laughs> yeah. So we just gotta have to hang on until it's over. Oh, 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 they're, oh, it's, did, are they playing that because they're, because they're saying I was a, a tanky? That you're coping. I'm not a tanky, nor am I coping. I'm just telling you what I think. Can you clarify that for people? Because I don't, I don't like that. That makes me feel weird. Uh, I don't like, I don't like being teamed up against. It triggers me. Um, and for twos, never, um, it is a masterwork by, uh, by me, uh, by me, Trey, and I will never retire that song. Um, I, you know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal for twos. I will retire that song when has, has he two holes retires from streaming when has he two holes retires from streaming will retire the tankies coping song. Yeah. Guys, can can we just can we look at some of these texts here? I, I'm bothered by this. I, I've really enjoyed being a part of this community. I, I have, but but I am bothered by some of the things that people are saying here. They're they're saying, "L, just stop. You're being a Tumblr feminist." Uh, they're saying, uh, "L, stop digging your own grave, please." L, stop asking Kai for us not to bully you. I don't think I'm being a Tumblr feminist, and I wasn't asking for Kai to stop bullying you. What I was asking for Kai to do was to clarify the point that I am not a tanky, nor am I coping. I'm just telling you what I think about what happened. I'm not trying to tell you that you are necessarily wrong about your opinion, Tumblr feminists, okay? But I am telling you what I think, uh, and, and I could very well be wrong about what I'm, what I'm saying. Don't be an asshole to me just because we disagree. Jesus Christ. Um, Karen, in fact, has and I have a very interesting relationship. Has and I interacted, um, the very beginning when has started streaming. Um, and we reached a very sort of like, um, tacit, um, sort of agreement not to fuck with each other. Um, I, I make fun of him consistently. Um, but... We, we don't go into his community. He doesn't come into mine. We've interacted. We've talked. Um, he knows what I think. I know what he thinks. Um, yeah. But has, has and I sort of have like this very interesting sort of um, somewhat agreed upon peace treaty. Yeah. It's, 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 a, te- it's a ceasefire of sorts. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah. Has uh, has he two holes? Will never escape his nickname of has he two holes though. Um, that that is that is his that is his fate to bear for not knowing basic anatomy and then making up a conspiracy on the part of women to make him look bad in order to defend himself from the tight uh, from the nickname the well earned nickname of has he two holes. <laughs> so. I, I don't know much about Has. That's uh, that's interesting to hear about. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Car- Karen. No, he doesn't fuck around on this side. And I mean, to be perfectly honest, if they started ch- doxing in this community, we've got record setters for being able to figure out what what who and where people are. I've I've seen it done in under two minutes. So like, if that if they want to fuck around and find out, then fine, we can fuck around and find out. But I'd prefer not to go to full blown war. Um, anyway, L, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to get off the non-compete thing. 
Um, and yeah. I'm going to fuck her, fuck with somebody else in a minute. <clears throat> so. Sure. Uh, do you want me to get off the, the call? Uh, I think that this is what this is going to end up being is I'm probably going to get somebody else on the air. Maybe. Okay. About Daryl Davis real quick. Um, or do you want to talk about that off air sometime? I'm, I'm happy to do that. Um, go for it, but speed run it. Uh, just that I, I think that, you know, I, I was just, I, I, I agree with you about the idea that political action in general and political people, political leaders in general are performative. Um, but that doesn't mean that like, uh, I, I, but I'm not, I'm not talking about that kind of performativity when I'm talking about Daryl Davis. When it, with Daryl Davis, it seems to me that he's intending to do something and he's saying that he's doing something and he's proclaiming that he's, he's done something that I don't necessarily think that he has, has done. I'm not sure. I, I, maybe, maybe he has, you know, achieved the objectives that he's, he's stated that he has, but, um, I, you know, I would have to see more evidence than just the testimonies of, of these people. And I, I, and I have seen some things, you know, the article I showed you, and also there's a video where he speaks to these BLM protesters um, that, I, you know, lead me to think that there's more to this than, than, than meets the, the eye of his TED Talk. Um, so that's, that's what I meant by performative in this context. Fair enough. Um, All right. Have a great one. Bye, L. Take care. See you. Um, Diamond. 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 My man, Diamond. Oh, Diamond. Here's how this is going to go, Diamond. I'm going to invite you on air, and we're going to have a conversation. We're going to talk about a variety of uh, topics. We can talk about crypto. We can talk about politics. We can talk about economics. We can talk about a variety of topics, theology, if you want. Um, well, see, here's the, the the thing, Diamond. If you don't, then I will be removing you from the community. You are too much of a disruptive element, and quite frankly, nobody enjoys li uh, enjoys you here. So here's your opportunity. You either have the conversation in good faith or you go away because, frankly, you annoy everybody. So your choice. Um, either way. He gets his shit pushed in all the time. He's a fucking like 20 year old idiot. He knows nothing yet. So, yeah, this is your fair warning. I refuse to sit here and listen to just spammy nonsense. Um, cat, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What did uh, what did James do to him? Just out of curiosity, for somebody who was there. No, I had all oh, Will Alexander. Hey, brother, I just checked out your content on Twitch, and I really think you could connect to your audience more if you flew to Jamar and saw Doctor Edelhoff to get an ultrasound guided uh, curcumin uh, ghee enema and MRI imaging of the rectal cavity. You could do kidney and anal healing in no time, not based on the outdated two kidney hypothesis. You can inject crocodile semen or inhale flammable gases with quan uh, dye to vitalize the lung. Just make sure you don't explode. I'm a good lad, I'll guide you. Will Alexander, as always, I love seeing what you write. Thank you so much. And thank you for the biddies as always, um, Will Alexander, but you know, Absolutely love what you write. Every time he mentions anything crypto, I'm going to time him out. Diamond Shib, that's how this is going to work. Every time you mention something crypto, you're going to get a 10-minute timeout. 
So, balls in your court, my man. Balls in your court. Um, all right, let's do some news. Yep. Every time he mentions something crypto, he gets a timeout. Of course, he's changed the number since this morning. Um, all right, let's talk shit about Joe Rogan. So far, 270 doctors have uh, signed a, 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 a sort of petition to demand Spotify implement some sort of COVID-19 misinformation policy over Joe Rogan's podcast. Um, we, it's, you know, I mean, at this point, is anybody surprised that there is rank COVID misinformation coming out of the Joe Rogan podcast? For fuck's sake. This is the admitted, admitted dummy. He... He has been saying for years and 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 years, and years, he is stupid. He says it himself. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I don't know anything. He is a dumb meathead comedian who fucking smokes way too much weed. Coming from somebody who smokes weed, he smokes way too much fucking weed and listens to the wrong people on a regular basis. He's so fucking dumb that the fact of the matter is, is that whoever speaks to him last will be the opinion he has last. Right. If you if you put a world class virologist and immunologist and epidemiologist in front of him and they educate him properly, he will walk out of that room with correct information. You then put fucking Ben Shapiro in front of him or Lauren Southern. He'll walk out of the room with incorrect information. It is the last person to interact with Joe Rogan as to what opinion he holds. He is functionally a blank slate. He is fucking Velcro that you just throw shit at. He's a wall that stuff sticks to. It, it's just that simple. He's he doesn't he's not smart enough to have opinions of his own. It's not how somebody that dumb works. Fear Factor was come was was fun <laughs> was fun. Uh, we should start calling him Goldfish Joe. <laughs> oh, Goldfish Joe. Have I watched his podcast? One, those words, like, really don't. Like, it freaks me out that podcasts are now video. Um, have I watched it? Yeah. Recently? No. No. I, I stopped watching Joe Rogan ages ago because when he started doing the alt-right grifter pipeline and serving as, like, a functionary for uh, uh, an entrance to the alt-right grifter pipeline, I, I was pretty much done with him. Uh, Joe Rogan used to be fun. He used to be entertaining. He used to understand his place in the in the sort of like ecology of understanding things. No, he's liberal in some ways, very conservative in others, per his own admission. Joe Slogan. I like Joe Slogan. I like Joe Slogan. <laughs> Um, he's talked openly about how he doesn't find home with either group. This is the thing. If you're going to talk about Joe Rogan, you might as well know Joe Rogan, right? I've been fucking watching and listening to Joe Rogan since news radio, right? I'm also older than a lot of you, right? Like I've got year, I've got decades with Joe Rogan at this point, right? Most of you fucking know Joe Rogan from the Joe Rogan podcast, right? I know Joe Rogan from Joe Rogan. Right? Like this this motherfucker, he doesn't he doesn't align with A hey, B over. What's up, B over? <clears throat> right? Like he, he's he's hyper conservative in a whole lot of ways, too. So uh whether it might be possible, it, you'd be it's 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 potentially doable. But um this motherfucker has an audience currently ODing on spit roasted meat. Nice! Um, <clears throat> um, this motherfucker's got an audience, the likes of which not many people get, right? He has a duty of due diligence, right? Like he has a duty to that. He has a duty of care for who he platforms, whether you like it or not, whether you want to accept it or not, whether you want to just admit to yourself that like, well, it's a fucking talk show and he just, you know, he has interesting people or whatever the fuck the reason is, right? The fact of the matter is, is that you have a duty of care when you have a platform that large. Joe Rogan has been neglecting that duty of care basically for ages, maybe forever. And as such, we know him to be an entrance point for the alt-right grifter pipeline. We know that. Everybody knows that. You fucking start with Joe Rogan 
and you end up with some fucking alt-right white nationalist bullshit. You end up as a groiper or some crap like that. You end up raiding the fucking, like, the parliament building, the fucking Congress on January 6th because Rogan, right? Like, he's, he's an entryway. He is a gateway to that stuff. This is how you encounter Dave Rubin. This is how you encounter Dave, uh, Ben Shapiro. This is how you encounter Alex Jones. Is through Joe Rogan. He is functionally a huge part of the problem. And whether you want to come to terms with that, whether you want to admit that, whether you want to accept it or not, is what it is. But he is a problem. And Joe Rogan legitimately has gotten people killed. He's legitimately responsible for deaths due to his negligence. Yeah. I'll fucking say it. I'll, I'll put it right out there. Joe Rogan has gotten people killed. Joe Rogan has broken up families. Joe Rogan has caused the d demise of relationships because he shuffles people into like QAnon and shit like that. So yeah, like there's a conversation to be had there. He is responsible for this in a very real way. Peace and love, Texas. Thank you for the, re uh, thank not the resub. Thank you for the sub. Guess I earned it. Um, hard agree. Do you know what radical means? Sweat is xenon. Do you, do you, do you know what radical means? I mean, you know. <laughs> and, and the crazy carnivorous doctor whose license was canceled. Yeah. He pled, like, Karen, uh, Lord Karen, like, he, he platformed a doctor that was basically losing their license. Right? He constantly, dude, he talks about the fucking, um, he talks about the fucking, uh, uh, fucking horse paste all the time. He's an active denier of like COVID treatments. Interesting, Cassidy. Oh God, it was not horse paste. Was it ivermectin? Aw, doesn't actually want to engage. Hey, sweat is Xenon. You want to come on the air and bust my uh, echo chamber? You want to, you want to own the, the lib? Love to do it. Love to do it, Sweat of Xenon. It cured his river blindness. Yes, and hopefully lowered his uh, his uh, sperm levels. Hey, red wine terrorist. Uh, terrorist. Sorry. Uh, red wine terrorist. Um, what, what, what terroir? What, what, uh, what region of the world do you prefer your red wine to come from? Red wine. California, France, Canada, Australia. Who's, who's your uh, producer du jour? Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You are divisive, period. Right? Like, at least, you know, try. France, of course. French, please. Red wine terrorist. Respect. Respect. Not, not so much a red wine drinker, and I don't really like reds. Personally, myself, I was always a, a, a white wine kind of guy. But, yeah. Um... Maybe Rogan will take the feminizing meds on air next. Dude, that is the craziest shit that, um, that the, we're literally like, they're taking anti uh, androgenic compounds now. Like what in the ever loving fuck is going on with people? <sighs> McLaren Vale Grenache from uh, South Australia is chef's is, um,
Oh, let's see. Why are these all nominees and awards? Awardees taking livestock dewormer? Ivermectin? Why don't doctors use it? Here's why. An influential study in 2020 found ivermectin unbelievably effective. After it went viral, reviewers found that their data was fabricated and retracted the study. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Um, off, 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 off. Reject. There we go. Uh, let's see. Particularly fucking... Okay, Jesus Christ. Um... Oh, geez. Plagiarism, data manipulation. <clears throat> oh, geez. Even the, high, the Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research is in on this one. Meta-analysis, American Journal of uh, Therapeutics. We had no, uh, we had no reason to doubt the integrity of the study. Oh, interesting. So then, yeah, the ripple effects of meta-analysis. Um, fascinating. I wasn't aware of the retraction of that study, but that's interesting to note. Oh, yeah, Brazil, dude. There's so much fucking bad, uh, bad science coming out of Brazil on this. There's so much bad science coming out of Brazil. Uh, red, uh, uh, distant red, I agree, um, but I am a uh, sucker for a good sangria. Um, uh, no, in fact, Dr. Robert Malone gave up on, on development of mRNA technology over 20 years ago. He abandoned the technology. He may be what is uh, recognized as the creator or founder of this sort of blah, 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 right? Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that it's a woman. Um, I forget her name. Does anybody know the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the doctor who... Uh, pursued the technology and actually developed it and created it like proper doctor uh doctor fucking uh robert malone doesn't actually understand the technology he developed oh yeah this quack he's an aids denialist oh yeah yeah he's a fucking he's a piece of work he doesn't understand shit for shit um here hang on we can uh, we could right out of the gate fucking get out somebody with a phd to speak on this if you want Yeah, he literally did nothing after that, Amorous. He's 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 nobody. Hi, as, I'm Dr. Wilson. As far as this is concerned. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think it's Dr. Katie Carrico. Um, here we go. Right out of the gate. Hi, I'm Dr. Wilson. I'm a PhD molecular biologist and welcome to another COVID-19 debunking video. Now, normally on this channel, most of the time, it's just me. It's just me researching, it's just me making the videos, and I'm just an average scientist. But I felt that this video was really important, so this time I asked for the help of several fellow PhDs and MDs to offer their insights and information to debunking this video, which of course today is Robert Malone's appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast. Before watching this video, please know that all of the information and data that I'm going to talk about in this video is linked in the description below, along with the information to all of the people who helped me make this video. And one last thing before we get started, I want to make it clear that all of the ad revenue that this video is going to make is going to be donated to Save the Children's campaign for yeah, COVID that's, relief. That's great and all. He claimed that he go. was the inventor talking about Robert Malone. Now, on the Joe Rogan podcast, he claimed that he was the inventor of mRNA vaccine technology. I think it's really important to drill into this and discover what his actual role was in this whole story of mRNA vaccines. Because the truth is that him claiming that he is the inventor of mRNA vaccine technology is at best very... Mm, I don't know why that didn't work. God damn it. Hi, I'm Dr. Wilson. I'm a PhD molecular biologist and welcome to another COVID-19 debunking video. Now, normally on this channel, most of the time, it's just me. 
these are essentially fat globules that are positive. There you go. Into paper as a did Robert Malone actually do? At worst, a complete lie by biology. Is because the truth is that vaccine technology. I think it's really claimed that he was the inventor of mRNA vaccine technology. I think it's really important to drill into this and discover what his actual role was in this whole story of mRNA vaccines. Because the truth is that him claiming that he is the inventor of mRNA vaccine technology is at best very inaccurate and at worst a complete lie by omission. So what did Robert Malone actually do? Well, in 1989, he published a paper as a graduate student describing experiments where he packaged mRNA into cationic lipid vesicles. These are essentially fat globules that are positively charged. He was able to add these cationic lipids containing mRNA to cells and get them to take up the mRNA and express a protein. And then a couple years later, he was able to use this technology to introduce mRNA to a living mouse and have that mouse produce an HIV protein. This work was working towards an HIV vaccine, but the problem here was, although the mouse took up the mRNA and made a protein, there was no immune response. This work was ultimately never published, and not long after, he gave up the idea of mRNA vaccines and shifted his focus to making DNA vaccines, none of which have so far panned out, by the way. At the end of the day, what this all amounts to is a small contribution in a long line of contributions that ultimately added up to what we now have as mRNA vaccines. There were so many other scientists that contributed to this line of work, many of them much, much more than Malone. You can see this in the history and the reviews of this field. Yes, Malone made a contribution, but he is hardly the inventor of any mRNA vaccine technology. In fact, what he did in 1989 needed to be drastically improved upon. There needed to be several changes and several new ideas added to this technology in order to make it viable as an mRNA vaccine. Tons of work ranging from making these cationic lipids actually safe to inject into humans, and stabilizing mRNA enough so that the cells take it up and produce a protein, and get an immune response out of it, all had to be figured out by people other than Malone. From scientists like Paul Krieg to Derek Rossi, this timeline and their contributions goes much deeper than Malone. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> so, let's see. Uh, Malone did that one. There's stuff that occurred before him. There's stuff that occurred after him. There's stuff that occurred in parallel to him. And he is but a small sliver of what was actually done. But no, no, no. He's an authoritative expert on this technology that he didn't develop, that he doesn't understand how it works because he wasn't there as part of the research process. He didn't, he gave up on the technology. He abandoned the project entirely. But hey, Let's listen to Dr. Robert Malone as an authoritative expert on this technology. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a way we should go. And he doesn't tell that story, which I think is really, really disingenuous. If there's any one person who deserves most credit for mRNA vaccine technology, it's definitely Caitlin Carrico. Okay. Here's my point. I'm a 50 viewer Andy. I'm fucking no one. All right. I'm a 50 viewer Andy. Joe Rogan has like a hundred million people watching him. I knew to do this. I knew to have the fucking convert. I knew who to fucking look for. I knew the information basics of the information to go like, oh, hey, you know, this isn't a whole the whole of the picture. This is by far not even a complete picture. This motherfucker had him sit in front of him and lie to his face for hours at at, at, at a fucking time and didn't ever think to actually question this dumb motherfucker worth a shit. He bought his, he bought his lie at face value and ran with it. And now we've got dummies running around repeating this shit. This is the problem with Joe Rogan. Together with Drew Weissman, Carrico has been a resilient force in the field of mRNA vaccine technology. She enough, took Karen. the technology where Malone and others could not. She made it usable in humans. She was so dedicated to this Thank that you, she Zippy. even took a demotion in her job to continue working on mRNA vaccines specifically because she believed in the technology. So take an honest look at this story and tell me who you think deserves more credit. Is it Robert Malone, who gave up on mRNA vaccine technology over 20 years ago? Or is it Caitlin Carrico, who stayed persistent working on this project for most of her career. I think this is really important to clarify because it sets the stage for who I think Malone really is. 
and that is someone with a huge chip on his shoulder. To me, he seems like somebody who is just very bitter and has a very big ego. He feels like he deserves more credit than what he actually does in this mRNA vaccine technology field. And because he's not getting that recognition, I think he feels the need to attack mRNA vaccines so that he can somehow discredit them and pave the way for his own COVID treatments that he has planned that he talks about in this interview. But instead of just attacking mRNA... Oh, look! He's got a conflict of interest, too! Oh, always the hallmark of a good operator. A fucking good faith operator always comes with a conflict of interest built in. Oh, wait, he stands to benefit financially and professionally if he does. Oh, who would have fucking guessed? Vaccines, he has resorted to blatant disinformation and outright lies in order to discount them. And those are the lies that I'm going to focus on. Che, agreed. Yeah, it's Wakefield all over again. It's Wakefield all over again. Yeah. Yeah. And we're still dealing with the fallout from fucking Wakefield. Dude, that motherfucker alone caused generations of damage in this fucking uh, w Andrew Wakefield uh, zippy, also known as Wankfield. Um, it, Andrew Wakefield is the doctor responsible for fucking m mommy groups on, uh, on Facebook thinking that vaccines call, an, uh, call autism, cause autism. Yes. He's, he's the motherfucker that, uh, that came out with the bullshit study completely fabricated, um, that ties vaccine early, uh, early childhood vaccination to autism. Yeah. That's Wakefield. We're, we're still dealing with the damage from Wakefield. This motherfucker's just another Wakefield. Yeah. Yeah, it's disgraced former Dr. Andrew Wakefield. Got his fucking license pulled, didn't he, Amaris? Uh, fucking, yeah, that's his shit all over again. I, you know, the Lancet, it, it, the Lancet has to take that one on the chin. You're right, Toxo. The Lancet has to take that on the chin. They should have, like, do they should still be mea culpating for that one. Agreed. I mean, they're generally a prestigious prestigious um, publication, but they, they need to take that one on the chin. Yeah, 100%. This on and point out in this video. Ultimately, I think that Robert Malone will be remembered the same way Andrew Wakefield is. A discredited doctor who resorts to anti-vaccine misinformation in order to further his own selfish reasons. Now, let's get into the Joe Rogan interview. And um, I, I... Let's not, because I don't need to fucking... Dude. I was still a good fucking... Try and roll that back. You listen to a discredited doctor who is a half, half-assed hack of a researcher who attempts to inflate his ego for the purposes of profit and professionalism and then defend, sorry, sorry. Like, you know, no. Every doctor and every pharmaceutical company the, the world over knows that they're going to have blood on their hands. You know, they teach that in medical school, right? That you're going to kill somebody. You know, they teach that in medical school. They actually teach that in medical school. You will kill somebody. You will kill somebody and you will know about it. It's an inevitability of working within that industry. Yeah, of course Pfizer knew. You should get it, uh, all kinds of hit up with Wakefield propaganda. My son, who will be 25 this month, was diagnosed on spectrum at a young age. I'm thankful for the improvements in the field of study of ASD, but it was hard as fuck back then. Because 25 would put you, oh, geez. Yeah, um, harder, of course, on generations before, but I'll admit that did get me for a bit. I was really young and scared. And how do you know the veracity of that no those numbers, Sunrays? You literally are taking statistics and facts from somebody who is a discredited doctor. How do you know the veracity of those numbers? Have you researched them independently of him? Or did you just take a statistic that you heard on the Joe Rogan show and ran with it and have been parodying it ever since? 
What amount of independent investigation did you do for yourself? Or did you take the word of a doctor who's a known con man? This is my issue with Joe Rogan. This is my issue with Joe Rogan. He platforms knowing, knowingly platforms bad actors. Honestly, what we got? <laughs> Jesus Christ, whether ah. Uh. Oh, and uh, Noonern, Noonern, you still here, Noonern? Or did you leave too? Did you tuck tail and leave, Noonern? <laughs> so what you got? Any comments? Zippy! Congratulations, Zippy. Zippy Zippy got her self-defiance. Where's my copy? It's around here somewhere. There we go. It's a good book. You know what? I'm in an inflammatory mood tonight. Let me find one. Wither, you don't even uh you don't even have to um you don't even have to cue me with her. Um, oh, Che, this is um, anarchist statements before judge and jury. This is basically anarchists who are up up against it. Yeah, Kat, I would feel weird about that too, actually. Um, you should feel weird about that. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go, Louise Olivier. Uh, Olivier. Olivier. Ugh, God, I can't. Olivier. Uh, Olivier. Eh. Either way, Louise. Um, let's see. Jesus, Louise. Seven, twelve. Okay, that's like twenty-two pages. Um, that's that's a statement. And fuck you, fuck the cops, fuck the courts, fuck your mama. The book known as Defiance, everyone. Yes. Uh, we already did uh, Abby. We could do Kawasi, though. I find him a. Um, <clears throat> Disface, distasteful figure, shall we say? Oh, we could do Anne. Dude, Anne Hansen is kind of funny, actually. How long is your statement, Anne? Ooh, I don't think we can do Anne's statement, though. <sighs> mm, yeah, we can't do you. Dude, you do Bill, why such a long statement for such a fucking... All right. <clears throat> All right, cool. 
We'll do, uh, we'll build, we'll do build Dune. I kind of want to show this off. I kind of want to show this off. This would be hilarious to fucking do on stream. What, uh, what's, what's the deal with the, uh, male toplessness on Twitch right now? Does anybody, anybody know what the deal is? I want to fucking show myself off. I'm, I'm tempted to do it. I'm tempted to do it. I want to, I'm going to read defiance and I'm tempted to show some shit. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fucking ornery tonight, y'all. I'm feeling fucking ornery. Twunk stream, twunk stream, twunk stream, twunk stream. Is foes lot, uh. Yeah, I thought they bopped male nipples in TOS. Really? Let's see. Twitch. Can a male streamer be shirtless? Um, what? What did you? Did you reply? I, I legitimately stopped paying attention to you entirely. You asked for my reply. Answer. Wait. Hang on. The fuck? Where's your reply then? Oh. Oh. So you? Okay. So. Oh, for fuck's sake. So Karaku's a better source. Yes, yes, yes. The woman, the woman who spent literally her, her entire career working on a technology. Um, yes, yes. She's, she's a better source than Malone who did a half-assed project and stopped researching it entirely. Yeah, yeah. She is functionally a better resource. Yeah. Um, nothing to earn when working with Pfizer's trillion vaccine. Um, she took a pay cut to do her job. What about the data if Pfizer produced before the vaccine was accepted? Do any of the data, does any of the data, is any of the data still valid? Jesus Christ. No, it was all misleading. Um, cite your sources. Gemma! Love you, Gemma. Take care of yourself. Love you. Now. Now she is. She spent the better part of her c career in languishing in, uh, in uh, professional purgatory trying to develop this technology. Now, if you want to say that she's been involved in some sort of active conspiracy to, like, I don't know, like, end blah, 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 like, and spread the virus, like, maybe, maybe, maybe Kiriko went to um, um, the, the Chinese lab where it was manufactured, and she's the one who spread it abroad, like, right? Like, in, unless you're implying that she specifically created a situation in which it would be, there would be a global pandemic to take, a, uh, take part, or uh, take, uh, take advantage of, um, utilizing her technology, like, she didn't know if this technology was ever going to pay off. She didn't know it. Um, let's see. You can read the official policy here. All right, cool. Oh, <sighs> what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? For those, okay, so for those who present as women, we ask that you cover your nipples. We do not permit exposed underbust. Cleavage is unrestricted as long as coverage requirements are met. That's for women, uh, streamers who present as women. 
For all streamers, you must cover the area extending from hips to bottom of pelvis and buttocks. Okay. Contextual exceptions. IRL streaming. Broadcasters, hosts, and invited guests engaging in general IRL streaming outside the home must follow standard body cover coverage expectations. Uh, passing in the background. Blah, blah, blah. Swimwear is permitted as long as it completely covers the genitals. Those who present as women must cover their nipples. Full coverage of buttocks. Okay. Context transitions, additional phone, standard chest coverage. Uh, there's a breastfeeding exemption. I don't see, I'm looking at it. I don't see. I, I don't think so. I, I think men can be shirtless. Interesting. Fascinating. Huh. Karina. Oh, Karina. Um, huh. The Pfizer CEO said two vaccinations weren't enough. That's what he said. Uh, I know that quote already. He didn't admit that the vaccine wasn't working. He said two wasn't enough. He said that the booster was necessary. <laughs> Which, Bagheera, that's, you know, work better. That's all I have to say on that one. Um All right, I'm gonna take us. I'm gonna take us into uh, just chatting, and if we get canceled, we get canceled. Um, so here's on you. Um, this is some of the work I've been putting in. This is this is why I want to show it off. I've been putting in fucking work. I've been putting in the time. Um, so I'm I'm gonna put this on screen for a short moment. Um. So, here you go. Oh, are you back? Wolf whistle at the ready. That's what Kai looks like without a shirt on. No, there's in before DMs die. <laughs> um, I look good. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll fucking dude. If, if who isn't, who's not going to promote you if you don't promote you, right? You got to get your own back. You got to get your own fucking back. Um, uh, thank you, Viva. 
Get the screenshot key ready. Um, I'm still not doing cardio. You can't make me. Cardio won't get you that. Cardio will not get you that. <laughs> cardio ain't gonna hook that up. <laughs> That's not cardio. You don't get you don't get that from cardio. Uh, thank you, Joe. I've been putting in a fucking work on that one. Uh, I, I I have a legitimate six pack. Um, the arms. Um, yeah, it is zippy. It is straight up. It's core all the time. It's core basically six days a week. Um, it's, it's diet, it's exercise and it's a little chemical, uh, you know, assistance cause I'm fucking almost 40 for fuck's sake. Um, but you know, yeah. Good luck, Joe. I hope you get it. Oh, but yeah, no, it's, um, yeah. It's coming along. My arms. Um, <clears throat> did you miss the gun show? Dude, red commodity. Just for you. Just for you, commodity. Are you ready, red commodity? Are you ready? <sighs> oh, um, I, I think so, cat. I think so. I, I think, yeah. <laughs> Clipper, get ready. Uh, <laughs> can we pin it on the server for reasons? <laughs> oh, red. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, wait, no, it was, uh, it was red commodity that what, uh, the people demanded. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not the first time somebody's uh, used me for spank bank material, but it's the first time somebody's ever like directly like sort of come at me for it. Uh, peace and love. I was out of the room too. I still haven't heard back from this uh, from uh, uh, Red Commodity. So y'all horny on main. Good, good. Yeah, it's just for Red Commod. It's just for Red Commodity and Peace and Love Texas. Everybody else out of the room. Everybody look away. Everybody else look away. You got yours. <laughs> Thank you, Buffet. Uh, no female borns doing it? Um, Yeah, there's probably been one or two along the way. That's fair, cat. That's fair. Or look at your boners. All right, there you go. Commodities here in Texas is here. This is just for you two. Everybody else, you got yours. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Best time for a raid. Best time for a fucking raid. What's up, Goddard? We're show dude. It's a weird stream. It's a weird fucking stream. Get fucked. <laughs> oh, this is the way, says Peace and Love. Yeah. Let's see what they think. <laughs> what did you raid into? Me showing off gains, Goddard. I worked hard. I'm going to show them off. Uh, how many will we lose? How many followers will we gain? Yeah, right. Separating the wheat from the chaff on that one. Um, yeah, it came up, so I fucking showed it off. Um, how was your stream, Goddard? What'd y'all get up to? I've been, I've been dunking on people and fucking bitching and fucking d dipping into the drama, uh, drama sphere. I've just been in it all night. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. So I, I, I haven't been hesitating to like just shit on people and do stuff. Uh, show again. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> there you go. That was earlier tonight after my uh, after my workout. Core only. None of that is arms or legs. Separate the weed from the shaft. Am I right? <laughs> or is your uh, for fucking? There you go for twos. That's what I look like without a shirt. <laughs> the moon is perked up jovially. Um. Hi, bait. Zippy got it. Yeah, 
The topic of your abs came up as slyly as sly as the bumps in everyone's pants. No, no, no. Don't cross your legs. We all know. Uh, it is, Akka. Um, it is. Um, is there a video of stuff you do for core workout? No, there isn't. Zero. Um, I could put together a routine for you. Um... See, let's just, you could be like this if you leave Reddit. Dude, Karen, don't encourage that. I'm a Redditor. Um, yo, I'm on Reddit all, uh, every day. Um, but yeah, I could put together a fucking routine for you. I have a thing I do. I have a series of exercises I do. Uh, if you leave Twitter, there you go. But yeah. Um, the arms, uh, uh, cat, I measured the arms last night. Um, post, post workout, it looks like I've gained about two and a half inches. Um, I was saying I was ever told by a friend was girls know when guys get boners and pretend not to know and hope of letting them try and hide it more desperate, the more they like you. Aw. Uh, Zippy, yeah, I'm, I'm, as far as the V cut goes, I'm pretty genetically blessed. It's, it's, I, I've, even at my most, like, squishy, um, I have a V. Yeah, I have the abdominal V cut, no matter what. Uh, Viva, hey, I'm a Redditor too, and I lost 20 pounds. See? See, Reddit, Reddit encourages, uh, health and fitness. Um. Let's try and, we'll try and redeem this fucking Reddit uh, uh, reputation. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I have the V cut no matter what, basically. It, it's just a thing. Um, the abs I have to work for. Well, except for that one subreddit. <laughs> I think they're still on private, Caboose. Uh, my core is squishy. Uh, yeah, you, we, this, this is the thing. Most of you who have squishy cores, you have abs. You have abs. They're there. If I had you flex and we really like fucking poked at it. Um, no, no, no. That's, that's yeah. Um, uh, we, we, we would feel your abs. It's just, yes, they're, they're a bit, they're, they're wearing some winter weather. They're wearing some winter clothes. That's all. They've got, uh, they've got their puffy jacket on. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's way more difficult, um, to be perfectly honest. Um, to be truth, truthful about it, getting the abs is, if via exercise is easier than getting the abs via diet. And I'll tell you right now, abs are made in the kitchen. That's just the truth of the matter. Um, they're, they're super easy to get via exercise if you just stick to it. You can have abs, you can have abs in a couple of, a couple few months, depending on your, your fitness level. That's, that's a non-issue, like that. Um, the issue is your diet. It's the, the adipose layer, the fat tissue that sits over them, the abdominal fat. Um, getting rid of that is a, is, is a task. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare to get rid of that. Um, so like it, it's even like, <laughs> God, am I really going to do this? Um, the, the, the lower abdom, <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. Jeez, I don't even know what that is. Um, let's see. So it would be the the uh, the abdominus rectus or rectus abdominis, the lower strap, um, uh, the the lowest ab that you see, um, is usually the the hardest to get the the adipose layer off of. It's a nightmare. Um, can you burn fat via cardio? Yeah, no. Yes, yes, yes. But as Kat and Amaris are both pointing out, it's all diet. If if you eat more than you, you're burning, you're not going to lose it. You have to put yourself in a caloric deficit. Um, That's just the way it works. 
Yeah, you you to lose fat, you have to get your body to burn fat. And to burn fat, you have to be in a starvation mode of some sort. Um, you've got to be short on fat and uh, carbs. Because the only way your body's going to burn the fat is if it has no carbs to burn. The carbohydrates, if you give your body carbohydrates, it prioritizes carbohydrates 100% of the time. So to burn the fat, your body has to be out of carbohydrates. And to be out of carbohydrates in your body is a nightmare. It, it's, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun. You end up fucking loopy and lightheaded and feeling kind of sick and cold. And you're just like, you don't feel good. You don't feel good when you when you go in uh, into that you, when you your it, your body is in a mode of glycolysis, um, and it's looking for a glycogen substitute, but it doesn't have one. There, the the conversion from glycolysis over to uh, keto, uh, ketosis is an uncomfortable one. It doesn't feel good. Um, the lit- the French have literally named candy good good. <laughs> Uh, I was just talking to a friend today. I had a sweet potato get fuzzy on me and I was mad. Why is the yummy good food perishable and the nasty bad food last for like nine years? Zippy, you know the answer to that question. Uh, <laughs> new Tane Celery Man. Thank you for the follow on that. Um, you know the answer to that, uh, Zippy. Uh, God, I know. I've struggled with obesity since I was a kid. I've consider- seriously considered gastric surgery because I don't want to go in- into 50s the way I am now. Puka, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I, 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 I know a lot of fucking fitness people think like that's cheating and shit like that. I don't believe in cheating. I'm a transhumanist. Um, do what you got to do. If, if Puka, if you have access to the gastric surgery and a doctor thinks it's the best avenue and not some fucking hack doctor, but like a legitimate um, bariatric surgeon and weight loss specialist feel that that is probably the best route given age and mobility and that sort of stuff. Fucking do what you got to do. Right? Like, Yeah. It, it's a little extra weight going into your older years is a good thing. It's actually a predictor for longevity. If you have a, like, I think it's something like 10 to 15 pounds extra as you go into, like, a, a, like older adulthood, borderline, like, you know, uh, sunset years sort of situation. Um, but more than that is a predictor for bad outcomes. So do what you got to do. I'm, I'm behind you a thousand percent, no matter what. Uh, time to duck. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting fucking works. It works. We lost two people and gained one follower. Looking good. Thanks, Viva, for looking at that. Um, yeah, intermittent fasting fucking works. Uh, back in the 1800s, I used to just straight up recommend folks to stick to a heavy meat intake diet. <laughs> just, just eat meat. Uh, Aka, it's true. Did strict keto for months. Felt like garbage. Um, it's 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 rough. I'm pretty good at keto. I did keto uh, keto diet, like a strict keto diet for years. Um, I think I did it for three years straight. Um, it's an attempt to reduce inflammatory levels and inflammatory markers in the body dealing with the, the progressive neuropathy. Um, keto is hard. It's hard. It's a fucking miserable way to live. Um, we decided as a global conspiracy to make me fat and miserable. <laughs> uh, fuck those who say it's cheating. I agree. If it saves your life, then it saves your life. The sooner that happens, the better. Breach. Um, uh, high key, most people would shed some pounds if they changed nothing about their diet, but were strict about just drinking water. 100% cat's right cat's cat's dead fucking right dude soda is such a fucked up thing it's such a fucked up thing don't drink soda just don't drink soda occasionally one small glass every few months is a treat for yourself soda is fucked up it's fucking poison get rid of it um <laughs> fucking now that you found out I'll have you know we also work on making you bald and old <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, oh Libra uh, how you doing Libra I've been very underweight for a long time now and I just I have squish which sucks I mainly just don't want to go back to being a twig to be honest red can I ask you a couple of questions red um, I, I kind of want to, I would kind of want to like figure something out. Um, so like, tell me if I can ask you some like personal questions as to like things, 
Um, don't worry, they won't be too personal. But like, you know, what's your social security number? Um, no. Um, sure. Um, for leftists, forgive me. We have to just work within. Are you are you chromosomally and hormonally male or female? Red. Are you rocking estrogen or testosterone as your d dominant hormone in your body? Um. <laughs> uh, and also, how around how old are you, Red? And I just realized I have two fucking people in here, distant Red, that have Red in their name. Um, intermittent fasting is hard, uh, hard too, though. Oh, dude, it's not easy. I quit keto once the docs want to put me on high cholesterol. Meds. Oh, Jesus, Aka, yeah, fuck that. Um, water and wine. <laughs> My only concern about gastric surgery is the permanence. Yeah, Caboose, if you can do it under your own willpower, always best. Any worse of you getting less calories? Diets are useful in the sense they help you maintain lower. Yeah, it's it, it, amorous. The the diets function because they make you change your diet, your eating habits. That's it. Um, mid uh, mid twenties and dominantly tea based. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Doing well. Glad to be here. Nice Libra. Um, all right. Let me try and catch up here. Yeah, except. It, 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 except cat assigned male at birth doesn't tell me what your dominant uh, hormonal load is now you could be assigned female at birth and be trans and be on supplemental testosterone none of that matters to me right now see see what i'm asking is what is the hormonal load now i don't care what it was at birth um so yeah like, because if someone who's assigned female at birth is on supplemental testosterone levels, you did an essentialism. You did, Kat. Um, it, it's an entirely different ballgame. Um, so as far as diet, exercise, body type, like all of that sort of shit. Um, so all I cared about for, this perp for the purposes of this investigation was what's the dominant hormone right now? Um, it is true. Um, and yes, the, the racing of intersex people, blah, blah, blah. It, it, it's true. It's very true. Hi, ah, Libra. Thank you for the resub. Um, so, okay. So you are mid twenties. You are predominantly testosterone driven system though, through aromatization, estrogen does blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, so distant, I'm in your camp. I have been chronically underweight my entire life, right? I graduated high school at 109 pounds, right? I was, um, I was up until last year, I was always somewhere between 119 and 124 pounds. Like I've, at the peak of my athleticism even, right? Like rock climbing, rappelling, skydiving, whitewater rafting, inline competitions. I was never more than 120 pounds. Right, I'm in your camp. I'm in your camp. I'm a hard gainer, and I'm stick thin. And how's your um? How's your metabolism, Red? Um. <laughs> Phoenix. Fair enough. Good wordplay, Phoenix. Um. How's your How's your metabolism, Red? Are you Are you the type that like if you get off the couch, you've just burned two thousand calories? Um. Zippy, uh, yes, I am taller than you. I was taller than you graduating high school. <laughs> yeah, I was 5'10", 5'11", graduating high school. So, yeah, I was taller than you then as well, Zippy. Uh, <laughs> peak athletic capability, Kai, or swole wise, Kai? Vote now! I, I you know, I, I miss peak athletic ability, Kai, but I'm, I'm really starting to like swole wise, Kai. I, I really am, I'm liking the swole. <laughs> Uh, beanpole guy now has abs. Not so much of a beanpole either. I've, I'm, I'm kicking around the 141. The weight's still getting put on. Um, the, the number keeps going up. And if I have my way, I'm going to fucking finish this year out. I'd like to touch 160. I'd like to put it at 160 this year. It's going to be a lot of fucking work. That is not an easy ask. Putting on 20 pounds of fucking muscle is a huge deal. Um, but 5'10", 5'11". Yep. 
Yeah. Depends who measures me. Depends at the time of the day. 5.11 in the morning, 5.10 in, uh, in the evening. Not that quite far. If I'm down a meal a day, uh, for a day or a couple times a week, I noticeably lose weight. All right, fair enough. Um, red. Red. How are you as an eater? Are you the type that you, 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 you already said, if you miss a meal, if you're down a meal, do you skip meals, Red? Because I'm the type. I could just skip a meal. It's no big deal. Like you just miss breakfast and, you know, you get busy in the middle of the day and you have a snack and that sort of thing. Right. Like, yeah, because if you're if you're in that same camp that you have trouble eating, I, I have bad news for you, but I've got the solution because I've I've lived the exact same experience. I can I can tell you what you need to do. It's just going to be difficult. That's all. Uh, <laughs> Red Eye, thank you for the follow. And Daddy you are. Uh, Daddy you are. Thank you for the follow. Um, I got the same height sitting at about 165. Uh, Jap, I would love to be 165, but I want it all muscle. I want no fat. Like that's, that's the deal. I, I have put on, um, yeah. Okay. I've put on, uh, I put on approximately 18 to 20 pounds of just lean muscle this, this last year, uh, from April to now is about 20 pounds of lean muscle. I don't want fat. That's not my goal. I don't want a dirty bulk. I want I want a clean bulk. Uh, <laughs> Caboose, your metabolism is set very interestingly due to a sedentary lifestyle and overeating. To be frank, um, yeah, that's your 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 metabolism has set itself to a certain degree. Um, red, um, distant. Here's the bad news. Here's the good news. It's the same thing. You have to force eat. Um, you you have to force eat. You have to force it. That's it. Hard gainers like you and I, uh, distant. Um, the only choice we have is to force it because we're comfortable. Our body's comfortable just working off of our own metabolic processes. We're comfortable skipping meals. We're comfortable just working off of the fumes. Um, in fact, intermittent fasting like that is notorious for getting a sort of like high. We work really well off of that energy boost that comes from that sort of evolutionary process of you need food, get out there and fish, hunt, gather something like that's that final push. We're very comfortable riding that final wave of energy. You have to one, expend energy that you don't really have. And then two, you've got a four seat. You got to get an exercise routine that taxes your body and you have to just force eat. And it, it can't be dirty, but it can't be dirty bulk unless you want to gain fat. If you want to gain fat, then fine. Um, but like you have to figure out your macros. You have to figure out how much protein, how much fat, how many carbs you need. Um, and not just need to operate, but need to gain. Because eating to gain weight is a different ball game entirely. It is a nightmare. Like, ask my ask my regulars. Dude, people who hang out on voice chat with me all the time, they know my life literally revolves around counting macros and exercise. That's it. it it's 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 work to gain weight. Just as much as it's work to lose weight. It's just as much. And that's the unfortunate answer for you, Distant, is you have to exercise your ass off, and at the same time, you have to eat a surplus of calories. It's so much fucking work. Uh, yeah, bingo. You need to do something to expand energy besides thinking, something physical. Otherwise, there's no need to eat X meals a day forcefully. Yeah. Um, big oof, but that sure does help. I mean, Red, like I said, it's it, it, Red, you're in your mid 20s. Do it now. Do it now, Red. Trust me. Take it from me. Take it from somebody who waited until he was coming up on 40 to start doing it. Look, I know I look good. Thank you. I, I like that I look young. Um, but I don't feel as young as I look, right? Like, trust me. Do this now, Red. Um, intermittent fasting since you were 16. Jesus Christ, Libra. That's a little young to do intermittent fasting. Uh, if I eat two or three normal to large meals in a day, I bloat up and gain weight really easily. Oh, very interesting. This is... <laughs> 
This fucker calls us on his bike rides after he lifted weights. We hear it all, including the pained grunts. They do. They do. Anorexia Tumblr was a bad place. Dude, Libra. Yeah, it sounds like it. I'm, I'm lucky I don't have any, like, dude, I don't have, like, addictive personality. I don't have, like, you know, eating disorders. I have a goal. My goal has, like, requirements. And I can't, like, I can't eschew them. I, like, I can't, I can't set them aside. Right? Like, if I want to hit the marks I want to hit, I have to do certain things. And certain things require, like, diligence and a, a myopic focus on details that other people, like, don't, that would be unhealthy for some people. Do I uh, go to a gym and talk to them? Zippy, um, uh, Zippy, for the, no, 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 for the bike ride, I'm on my actual bike doing, la uh, doing a prescribed set of laps around my neighborhood. And uh, as far as gyms go, uh, over Christmas, I installed a home gym in my garage. <laughs> I've got dumbbells. I've got like free weight, uh, free weights. I've got like, you know, pulley weights. I've got like all that sort of stuff in my garage now. And I'm constantly expanding it as well. Um, so yeah, for the bike ride, I'm just on my bike doing laps in the neighborhood. Um, I've got, I've got a course. Good night, Aka. Love you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the bike ride. Um, I do it all the time. Um, I do that's, that's my down day. I had a down day. This is how fucking crazy it is. Yesterday was my, um, active rest day. So I did, um, so I did six miles on the, on my bike. Right, like, and then lifted weights, but in abbreviated weightlifting session. Right, that's a, that's an active rest day. That's my rest day. My rest day includes riding my bike for miles and then lifting weights. It takes work. All right, it takes work. That's why I don't, it's a little weird. It's a little embarrassing to show that photo of me, but I'm proud of that photo. That's fucking gains, right? I'm proud of that. I worked my fucking ass off for that. Despite the fact that I'm chemically assisted. Hey, Pastique. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm chemically assisted. Like I'm not natty. Fucking I, I'm, I'm on testosterone replacement therapy because I'm fucking over 30 and frankly, if, if testosterone is your dominant hormone and you've passed the age of 30, go see a doctor. Get your levels checked. Dude, it, 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 it is night and day. It's night and day. Embra embrace being a juicy slut. Yeah, dude. Thank you, peace and love. I, I, I feel that way, right? I, I, I want... I set out that process to just see what, whether like TRT therapy, like testosterone replacement therapy made me feel different, made me feel better, gave me an edge of some sort. And you know what? It was life changing. It was life changing. Um, yeah, I, I will never go back. I will never look at it the same. I will never like, yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm a complete and utter convert. Um, it's, it's. It literally is night and day for, for a man over the age of like 28, by the time you're 28, your testosterone levels have started to plummet, right? By the time you're coming up on like 35 to 40, congratulations. You have like no amount of testosterone compared to what you used to have when you were 18 to 21. Um, it's, it's night and day. It's like, holy shit. I remember what this feels like. I remember this. Right? Like, I, this is, this is, you know, you think back, you think back 15, 20 years, you're like, oh, this is what it was like. Okay. Fucking never going back. Never. Uh, so what you're missing is the bang. Uh, the human psyche doesn't feel morale. Bang. But <laughs> reactions to positive and negative. Bang. Stimulation. Um, yeah. I, 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 I. And yes, labor is good. Um, yeah, cat. Yeah, cat did. I did experience those. Um, yeah, I, 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 fucking get out there and exercise. Even if it's not like I, I don't even see. This is my issue. Like Kai gets Kai gets labeled as an ableist, right? A lot. 
But my issue is effort. My issue isn't whether you're fat or skinny. My issue isn't whether you're able-bodied or disabled. My issue is effort. This is where I get highly critical of people. If you put in the work, no matter how small, no matter how seemingly perceptively, like subjectively small, it seems like, right? Like, did you go for a walk today? Even if it was just around the neighborhood, like even if you just did a lap around your house, did you put in the work? Did you try? If you tried, I'm on your team. I will be there rooting and crying at fucking ugly fucking tears of just like, yeah, I fucking, I will root you on from the sidelines until my voice goes hoarse. But if you didn't put in the effort, well, I'm going to be a little critical. Ah. Uh, Yeah, on the one hand, HRT to be ooh woo cat boy. Um, oh, I'm sorry, ooh woo cat girl. On the other hand, TRT to be strong boy. Me, panic. Sorry, Che. Yeah, get a yoga mat and just do some beginner yoga shit. It's more difficult than most people think, dude. Be fucking beginner yoga will kick your ass, especially especially if you're bigger. And I don't even mean that like fat. I mean just bigger. If you have a bigger frame, if you are muscle bound, like if if you are bigger. Dude, beginner yoga will kick your ass. I'm here since a year. Improvements are definitely visible. You went from spaghetti noodle arms to guns. Thank you, Viva. Uh, that's that's the three stages, right? It's it's the changes only you can. Uh, it's the changes only you can feel. It's the changes only you can see, and then it's the changes that others see, right? And it's 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 the third. It's the third that's the important one. Right? Like the first two are super important to keep you going in the beginning. But when somebody goes, like, you know, if somebody goes, oh my God, like you're, like I can see it. Yeah. That shit goes a long ways to reinforce tertiary euphoria. euphoria. Yeah. It goes a long ways to reinforce like uh, habits. Agoraphobia has no place for Kai. I do squats in the kitchen while cooking and washing dishes. Dude, that's, 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 that's effort, Zippy. That's effort. That's all I care about. I don't give a shit if you never leave your house. If you're, if you're doing laps, if you're doing fucking shuttle runs down your, um, down your hallway, that's more than fucking some of these assholes do in the gym, right? They go, they go to the fucking gym and they just fucking, you know, they're, they're there for a social experience. And it's like, yeah, no, fucking, you're putting in the work. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if you ever, if, I don't give a shit if you never leave your fucking bedroom, right? Like, what did I tell, I told, like, I was on a call last week, this week, I don't fucking remember. And I said, you have to develop that prison mentality, right? Prisoners come out of fucking jail yoked. And some of them barely ever get an hour outside of their jail cell because of our fucked up prison system. How do you think they're doing that? Right? You think you think they got a whole Gold's Gym up in that bitch? You think Arnie's up there giving classes? No. Right? They getting that shit done no matter what. They're fucking doing like you know free free uh, body weighted uh, free push ups off the fucking top shelf on the ground and shit. Like honestly, I don't give a shit if you never leave your room. Just try. Just put in the effort. If you put in the effort, if you if you give it a try. I, I, like I said, I will a hundred percent be on team. <laughs> you try that again with her swole. Uh, they meditated till they got swole. <laughs> they meditated till they got soul soul. God damn it. Yeah. I, 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 I just, I, I abhor inactivity. I abhor it. Sedentary lifestyles are I don't know. They're just, they're everything that's wrong with humanity. What will you do with reactionaries if prisons are abolished? Teach them. And by teach them, I don't mean necessarily sit them down in a fucking class and lecture them. I mean, teach them. Take them by the hand. Walk them through a society that doesn't necess uh, necessitate prisons. That doesn't necessitate the police. That doesn't necessitate the oppressive and coercive structures. Show them how it is better.
show them how it is it is more beneficial to them appeal to their ego if i need to right like i don't give a shit get the job done show them why this is an, a, a preferable alternative whether that is using social dynamics whether that's using their own egoistic drive uh, whether it's appealing to their familial relations, I don't give a shit. Get the job done, but show them. Take them by the hand and be a kind human being and teach. Teach. Um, hashtag jacked in my room. <clears throat> Is it you coming out as a bro today? Pastique, I've always been a bro. Pastique, I've always been a fan of the meatheads. I love them to death. Like, look. Um, I'm a guy that grew up athletic, right? Like I look like a fucking dork. I look like a geek. I look like a nerd. I look like a standard IT guy, right? Like I'm stick thin and y'all got to know me at like my lowest point as far as athleticism goes. Some of you at least. Um, but I grew up fucking on skis and mountain climbing and hiking and rock climbing. And like, I grew up super athletic right? Like I grew up playing soccer and running and that evolved to like, you know, a fucking like actual, like fr big wall, free solo rock climbing and then rappelling and then whitewater rafting, then skydiving, then competitive inline. And then fucking like, I've always been super athletic. I'm very comfortable with the meathead bro crowd. I don't think I'd have to come out as a bro. I've always been a bro. Um, Nice. Nice, Zippy. I can do that. I can plant. Uh, no, no, peace. But sedentary lifestyles are a problem with humanity. Kaiser, bro. Always has been. Um, yeah, I, 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 it's, it's sedentary lifestyles are a huge issue. Um, for a number of reasons, peace and love. Um, uh, Karen, I'm an anarchist. I'm by definition an idealist. Like literally, like philosophical analysis, anarchism falls under the idealist uh, um, category of, uh, uh, of uh, metaphysics, right? Like by definition, I'm an idealist. As an anarchist, I am wholly subsumed by the idealist category of philosophy. Yeah, feel free. Um, uh, but Texas... Sedentary lifestyles lead to a clouded mind and a unfit body. Sedentary lifestyles lead to poor dietary habits and lead to consumerism. I do believe this. I do actually believe this. I believe that a lot of the issues that our late stage neoliberal capitalist society have could be not fully remediated by but mitigated to an extent by a more healthy, healthful lifestyle. I think that if people were more physically fit, had a healthier diet, they would have less rates of malaise within the general psyche. Don't think I'm saying that, oh, just go run a mile and your clinical depression will disappear. I'm not one of those idiots or assholes, right? But what I am saying is that the general malaise within societal, uh, within the societal norm would be further alleviated by physical activity and proper diet, right? And if we had that, if and when the time comes to do some shit, Right? Like, if you have to actually throw down and do some shit out in the street, you're more prepared for it. Right? Like, I've, I, you know, I've talked about before, like, I've ran from the cops because I was doing some shit. Right? Like, I was able to run from the cops. Right? Like, it wasn't like, oh, what, what am I going to do? It's, it's simple as beat feet. Nice, Joe fucking nice everybody er, joe <laughs> fuck yeah rock the fucking call no social security cuts no measures fuck yes joe good job yeah like you gotta you gotta be able to handle your shit you gotta be able to handle your shits uh remember folks stagnation is physically actually death keep busy if you need to spend your energy 
Um, sedentary is a huge issue. Obesity is also a problem in the U.S. due to one diet, two sedentarism, and yes, it does have an effect on th- uh, overthinking in the brain itself. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I think it's a huge fucking deal that we are largely a sedentary lifestyle, l- lifestyle-driven society. I think it's a huge deal, and I actually think. Uh, Pastique, yes, uh, Joe did something uh, important to moving forward and furthering his life. Um, yeah, I, I think, unironically, if if more people just had a fucking healthful meal and went for a walk, society would get better. I, I do. I, I call me whatever you want to call me, but I actually believe that. And it's not because of some, like, random belief. It's because I've lived it and experienced it and know the difference. And, I mean, if I were doing this, like, back in the day and saying this, I wouldn't trust me. But I've lived the sedentary lifestyle. I've done the depression spiral. I've done the, like, oh, woe is me. My physical being is shite. And I can't, however will I ever, I live in pain 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How can I possibly overcome this? Because pain is in the mind. It sounds crazy. It sounds reductive. It sounds dismissive. Pain is in the mind. At the end of the day, how you react to that pain is in your control to a certain extent. What you do to remediate that pain. What steps do you take? What amount of willpower do you apply to it? I do actually believe that. I do. I I, I do because I've lived it. Um, yeah, Karen, I would, I would, I would encourage cat cat gave you some reading. I, you need to, you need to actually understand. Like, anarchism falls under idealism. It's an idealistic ideology. Like, it's it's categorically idealism. But you need to understand what idealism is better, apparently. Because you, you seem to have a non-philosophical understanding of idealism. And Marxism f- has failed everywhere it goes. So, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> All right, um... Physical activity adds energy to your psyche. It's hard to explain. If you go from nothing to every, uh, go from nothing to every day, you'll hate it. But start moving when you can, and start a rotation of firing in your body. Yes. Okay. So, do you all think that has become a culture here in the U.S. due to sitting at a stupid desk for eight plus hours a day? I I don't think it helped. Peace and love. I don't think the fucking eight plus hours at a desk it helped. I think that it's it's a contributing factor. You may have lived pain, but you have lived gains. Yes, I have, brother. Um. Uh, yeah, and also idealism is not the same as utopianism. Um, yeah, I do think I do think sitting at a desk for eight plus hours a day, I don't think it's good for us. I, 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 evolutionarily speaking, we know we're not intended to do that. And I think um, empirically, given all we've learned from contemporary societal context, um, I do think that, yeah, it's, it's a contributing factor at the very least, at the very least. Um, Joe, I think I'm going to go cut some wood into manageable pieces and carry them out of the ravine to celebrate. Joe, I love that. And I love you too, Joe. I, I, I love you, Joe. Um, I love that you're, 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 I love that you you pulled it out of a fucking tailspin, Joe. Good on you. Strength of character. <laughs> Hypotheticals are fascist. <laughs> hypotheticals are fastest. Zerum, I lost a ton of weight just walking 20 minutes twice a day for three, four days a week. It doesn't take a ton. Apparently, it doesn't take a ton. <clears throat> okay, so the exercise thing is truly helpful for depression and anxiety. The hardest part is actually doing it. It's not an end-all cure, but as someone who's failed a zillion meds and got a transcranial magnetic stimulation, exercise helps. If I get bad again, the only thing the doctors can do is ECT. Um, Zippy. I was once told um, motivation doesn't come 
prior to activity. That sort of like get motivated mentality, right? Like that sort of like bullshit work ethic crap. It doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Motivation doesn't come before the activity. That's willpower. Once you start exercising, I, I've, I've had to will myself into exercising so many times. I've been on calls with so many in this community that I'm like, oh, I'm just having trouble fucking getting, getting, getting my ass in gear today, right? Like that's sheer, unadulterated human willpower that makes that happen. It's not motivation. Dude, once you start seeing gains, I'm motivated to work out all the time. You know why? I got a fucking six pack and I've put over two inches on my biceps. I look good in the mirror. I fucking take my shirt off and look at myself and that motivates me, right? That's fucking motivation. Once you start and you start seeing results, wow, it's really easy to be motivated now, isn't it? Right? Starting from nothing. Starting from a deficit, dude, that's sheer, unadulterated willpower. That's it. You just got to fucking drag your ass into it. <laughs> yeah, you hot, baby. Thank you, Zippy. Um... I mean, I'm also just an antidote, but if I work out, uh, eat well, my medication works better. Interesting. Viva, Viva is saying that. There you go. Uh, I have chronic pain. It does make it hard to get motivated at times, but to try and fight that, it's tough though. Puka, I feel you. I feel you, Puka. And it's it's sheer unadulterated willpower. It is. I, 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 have, I have beliefs. I have philosophy that I built over the years. And... It, it, I've a few of you have heard me mention them before, um, but care, compassion, empathy, kindness, sympathy, love, intent, wisdom, and will. The most important things in this philosophy come last, right? Care, compassion, empathy, kindness, sympathy, love, all of that matters, but all of that feeds and is reliant upon intent, wisdom, and pay attention what comes last because it's the most important thing in that string of concepts. Will. Will. Because without the willpower, nothing happens. Without the will to care for another. Without the will to see your intentions that are driven by your wisdom through. Nothing happens. Your, your empathetic response means nothing without will to actually have that empathetic response, right? The willpower for me, for my system, is the most important thing. It is the most important thing that one can focus on in their life is to develop unrelenting willpower. That when the time comes, you can tap it. And I have no master program here. I have no plan that I can say you should X, Y, and Z. <clears throat> Commodity, take care of yourself. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, sleep well. Be kind to yourself, Commodity. It, it, if, if you develop the practice, right? Aw, for twos. If you develop the practice, if you find a source of willpower, there's nothing humans can't do. Look at the stories that we get told over and over from like battlefield stuff, right? Guys get their arms fucking blown off. They get a fucking like unexploded grenade in a RPG round in their chest. They get, they catch like 27 bullet wounds. And still this motherfucker ties off his bleeding stump, uses his other arm to drag his brothers in arms, his comrades to safety and get them loaded on a helicopter and, f and survives, right? Like willpower is the most intense, insane resource you have as a human being. Willpower is scary in humans 
the will to live, the will to see something through, the will to achieve. It's, it's astounding. It's astounding what it can do. It, it really is. It seems to be able to surmount physical limitations. You're like, how are you not dead? Willpower, bitch. Willpower. That's how. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, the, the, uh, was he, I forget. Was he as, he was South American of some sort with the, 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 the Spanish conquistadors. Yeah. Dude got both his hands lopped off charges into battle with, bl with knives strapped to the stumps. Yeah. Like what, what bitch? Like it, it, it is. I, I, Zippy, um, uh, peace and love exclamation discord. We'll get you the link. Um, Zippy it's, it's one of them. I think our adaptability is the other. Yeah, I, I think our willpower combined with our adaptability, which also could be tied together. The adaptability could be said that it's just a will to pers persevere, uh, persevere, right? Like it, it's, it's, it's human saying, yeah, I don't give a shit what, 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 right? Like chop off my legs. I'm gonna fucking build fake legs. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna run you down, bitch. Right? Like it, there, there's something to be said that they're sort of like intrinsically tied. Um... And uh, Japanese, um, per your comment about the, the, the 60 views versus the uh, <clears throat> other, um, I, get, I agree. I agree. I agree, Jeff. Um, let me try and catch up on chat here. Um, I forced myself to go to a walk today and I did not want to, but I was so glad you did. Yeah, exactly, Peace. Exactly. Um creativity can but the will to draw is still a fucking it is still a fucking do it you oh fucking do it you thing uh i don't think any skill breaks this rule guys dropping no willpower man willpower depression sucks willpower but you just need to push past that yeah it's a motherfucker um and for two i i mm. limbs shaking when working pain confronting set still finishing yep all right, there's commodity. In my privacy, the most fun I can have is move is dancing or imaginary fighting. That's what Cat does, but uh, uh, imagine you're badass as you need to move and you'll extend further than just trying. Yep. Um, oof. Um, yeah, that's a take. The fucking prison exile take. Pass. Hard pass. Um... There's the Discord, cheetahs. Um, okay, tase me in the balls if I drop it. All right. Is this your game, Fertus? Is this is this a part of like? Wait, what is this, Fertus? What am I looking at? What do I need to tase you in the balls for? I'm just asking for context for Tuce. I got no problem tasing you in the balls to get your ass moving. But what am I looking at for Tuce? Dom, by all means, dance. Good on you, Wither. Dude, your creative writing is good, whether you should, definitely should keep at it. Okay, so this is your game. All right. Well, for Toos, you need to uh, you need to finish this game. You need to get this game fucking cranked because I need to do some voiceover work for your game. I need to do some voice acting for your game and I need to practice and get experience. Um, so if there's any voice work that needs doing, any reading of text or whatever, um, I've already thrown my hat in that ring and I hereby volunteer and claim, uh, claim that space for, uh, for myself. So you need to do that. So we can both work on, uh, work on aspects of ourselves and our project. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pre buy, I'll pre-order it. I got no problem with that. Fuck it. Yeah, Karina's good at doing voices. I just want to do na narration and shit like that. Um, so yeah, keep at it for twos public bath management game all right 
<clears throat> Public bath management game. Heavily inspired by Theme Hospital. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let me know when I can pre-order for twos. And I'm caught up on chat. Woo! It's a public uh, management game of Roman debauchery. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, you know who I just thought of? Remember that twat that was here earlier? Um, Who was it? Cupcake fucking called him out. Oh, the American woman person who uh, follows crooked nose media and shit. And the Wake Up America podcast that came in to talk, uh, say, like, you know, all you were doing was talking bad about people. Is this all you got? I'm older than you. Think you really know someone's soul shows your intellect. Uh, telling younger adults is crap. You're divisive, period. I literally did, like, an hour-long um, fucking, like, we can be better than this. How, how can we improve ourselves? Fucking go at it. Fucking pump you up sort of diatribe. And this twat whistle wasn't here for it. Somebody should send that fucking person a, a whisper. And just one person should send them a whisper and say, hey, just so you know, Kai just did like an hour and a half pro-humanity, pro-exercise, pro-clean diet fucking put pump you up talk encouraging us all to be our best selves and you weren't there for it where were you <laughs> uh, Libra you did motivate me not gonna lie thank you I, I look it, one person achieving some shit is motivating for everybody else as far as I'm concerned dude if we can grow as a community, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't need more people. What I need is to see like results, right? I want to, I want to be able to say that like my, my impact was a net positive, right? Like that's, that would be good for me as a person, right? To be able to say like, yeah, yeah, I can, I can honestly say to myself that like, at least a couple people, at least one, you know, it, it, there's some other human beings who, uh, whose life is better. Their experience was improved by my interaction, right? That's, that's, that's all you need. And like fucking, oh, I got 25,000 viewers. Yeah. So what did you, did you help any of them? Right? Like, did you, did you make their life better? I'm yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, plus one, you motivated me on exercising today. Fuck yeah. Uh, I still have to do legs. I still have to do legs after, after stream. Um, <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Karina. Uh, yes, Puka, it is. Uh, you have been doing minor exercises that address my pain since this conversation started. So thanks. Nice peace and love. Uh, the buffet community on Twitch. Oh, Jesus. Uh, if other people's personal achievement makes you feel bad, that's the socialization you've gone through under capitalism. Kill the grind set voice in your head. Let the success of others bring joy to your inner self. And I say that, uh, and I say that having that fucking voice in my head. Oh, Jay. Snow is starting to melt, so I need to go on walks again. Yes, Caboose, you do. Uh, wither, it's about drive. I take car down to 95, not the speed. Uh, I mean, down the road 95, because it's always been about power. It's been a long road, been on about an hour on the way home. Stop at Wendy's, because we stay hungry, often got to run, so we devour, put the work in, and put in the hours. So when I get home to my wives, I'm taking what's ours. What the fuck was that, Wither? <laughs> Uh, there will be boobas. Okay. Nice. Oh, wait, your balls are backwards. Wait, what? What the fuck? What are you and Viscous up to, Zippy? Um... There will be floppy dongs also. Yes. All right, for twos. Fair enough. Good, good, good for twos. Good. 
Oh. Uh, good on you for tooth. Um, and here you go. Here's what I will do since somebody asked earlier. I will I will contribute. If you want the picture, it's in Anarcho Meatheads. <clears throat> so for you fucking coomers and and um and perpetually horny on mainers, um it is what it is. It's in meatheads. A fucking wizard told me to pin it. I'm not pinning it. That's that's. Can we make an NFT out of it? <laughs> um. So there's something for everyone. Nice. Yeah. Right. For twos. Equal opportunity. I love it for twos. Fair. Fair play. Uh. <laughs> uh, this is mutual aid. The real meme is we need folks to have their before and afters pinned here. All right. Um, do I have? Uh, let me look at. <clears throat> I'm not exactly a fan of taking photos of me in degraded states. So let me see what I got. No. All right, we're back to the... Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I got one on my back just from taping. No. Nope. <clears throat> I don't think I have one that I can use for comparison. Um Ah, okay. Zippy, I see. Um Food is prepared and on the stove and now to cleaning yesterday's dishes. We good on you, Joe. <laughs> this could be the before when I reached the 160. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, it's going to be some flavor of Venetian architecture. I'm going to go for fantasy world with pan Mediterranean myths using Roman baths as structural influence, but going into hammams and such. All right. All right. For twos. Um, no, this Kavas is on the other team that I, that I'm on, on team Kavas. Um, yeah, I don't think I have, oh, you know what? Hang on. Let me go into the hidden. Oh, I can't use any of these. I can't, I can't, I can't use any of these. <laughs> okay. Um, no, Joe, uh, not really. Um, cat, I found one image that could be used. <laughs> oh my God. Um, let's see. Edit. Um, crop, uh, oh, so, oh, uh, we're gonna, I'm just gonna trim my fucking, oh, uh, you know what? I have to leave. Oh God. I hate this photo. I hate this photo. Uh, yep. Crop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, okay. All right. I, I'll, I'll, oh man, I hate this photo. I hate that. Oh, I can't, I can't use this. I can't use it. I can't. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> I refuse. I hereby refuse. Uh, revert. Revert to original. Undo the crop. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Viva, basically, basically, hey, love it. Um, yeah, I, I, I have a photo that would serve as a pretty functional, um, before, but, uh, no. Oh, it's, it's, it's not like that, Wither. It's more, I, I think a few people know exactly what this photo looks like, frankly. Um, it is a, a, it is a full on, uh, mirror shot of like bathroom mirror shot of like this shit, like the one arm up and the fucking camera. And then, you know, everything exposed, of course. Um, <clears throat> It is, it, it is just, it's, it's, it, it's God. It's, it's one of those photos that it gets sent to somebody that's going to be fucking you later. Right? Like I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. The original intent of the photo is, is what bothers me. <clears throat> I will only post it before if I reach the after states. <laughs> I feel that Viva. I feel that. Um, Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Amherst and Fertuse are having a back and forth. Uh, oh, yes. Um. Oh, and there's also, it's not just a birthday pose. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's got accoutrement in it as well. Um, so. Close that. I don't. I don't need that looking at me from the corner of my eye. Uh, Chassis cage. Oh, all three Hitman Ass World of Assassination games are coming to Game Pass, just FYI. Um, so, like, if you want to know why Kai loves Hitman and you've got Game Pass, fucking, there you go. All three. Dude, best game series ever, period. Fuck all that other shit. I don't give a shit about your deep lore. Hitman, all the way. <clears throat> um... I don't know if I want to talk about any headlines. There's a bunch of headlines. There's a bunch of shit um, that I had stored up. Maybe we'll do them tomorrow. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, Karina, Karina's going to want you to take it into full-on kink territory for twos. So, like, maybe two versions of the game. NSFW version. Um, yeah, they're all terrible. <clears throat> they're all terrible. Um, so... Oh. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Um... Let's see. Oh, um, is anybody, um, wait, hang on. Let me check something, by the way. 
L M and yeah, of course not. Um, <clears throat> Is anybody surprised that the person who was subscribed to Fabian Liberty was doing all of the anti-vax, pro-Dr. Malone, pro-Joe Rogan shit? <clears throat> right? Like, that That was that wasn't that surprising, was it? That fucking nooner fucking person that was continually doing all that shit? Um, yeah, Scott fan. Scott fan. I absolutely just like, dude, he's got that alt-right pipe pipeline set up at this point. He's fucking schooling him in anti-vax shit. He's schooling him in pro-capitalism shit. He's fucking schooling him in bad faith argumentation and talking uh, and t uh, bad faith ta uh, tactics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too terribly surprised that that's a fucking thing. Um. Uh, he must talk so much shit about you. I don't know. Maybe. If it came from Scott, or sh are we sure they're 18 plus? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, you know what we need to talk about? Uh, uh, BNSF. Um, BNSF, um, they, they are the uh, largest freight rail network in, um, in the U S, uh, um, fucking, uh, uh, BNSF, uh, employees have officially gone on strike. They're, they're like, it's, it's a whole fucking thing. Um, Yeah, um, they they are. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, um, it was over. It was over an attendance policy. It's called the high vis policy. Uh, it would institute a new point system for employees. They would lose points for absences, needing to take off time for family emergencies, funerals, that sort of thing. Um, and a joint statement from two different unions, Brotherhood of Locomotive um, Engineers and Trainmen um, and uh, Transportation Division of SMART um, said that they are they were considering walking off the job. Um, the union officials called it the worst and most egregious attendance policy ever adopted by any rail carrier ever. Um, and so it literally said like our members have had enough of the treatment they've endured under the BNSF, um, uh, railway. Um, so it is, yeah, like they, they've literally, they've, they've gone, um, multiple years without, without pay. Um, they did their, do their days off schedule is a fucking nightmare. Um, absolutely. And it looks like they are good to go. It looks like they're they. I think I saw the, the paperwork. Hang on. Let me see if I have the paperwork. The undersigned general chairpersons hereby request your office to authorize strike authority. Okay. So yeah, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing the authorization work for strikes. Um, so yeah, BNSF, um, the largest rail carrier, in, uh, transportation network in this nation, um, it looks like their workers are going on strike. And if you're not familiar with commerce and you're not familiar with how um, things get where they go, um, trains are a huge component of that. Um, so it is, it could get interesting. It could get interesting. If we had solidarity strikes and the truckers struck at the same time as the train, uh, the train workers, oh, this country would be brought to its knees in an instant. But we don't have solidarity strikes like that. So, yeah, it, it definitely is. Um, it's a thing. Um, it is a thing. It, that is that is not a, a small deal. Here is. Hang on. Let me get you the image. Um, I'll get you the the paper. Um. Here is, here's smart. 
Uh, so, so, you know, sheet metal, air, rail, and transportation is smart. Um, to address to Jeremy Ferguson, the president of Smart Transportation Division, um, and it, here is the authorization request for strike authority uh, under jurisdi- jurisdi- uh, jurisdiction. So, yeah. And then here is all the general chairpersons. This is this is the formal filing. This is basically them saying like we're we're gonna do a strike. Uh if anarchism were an animal, what anar- animal would anarchism be? Um It can't be a copybara just because copybaras don't have the, the teeth. Anarchism has teeth. Anarchism has teeth. Um uh, we don't know yet. Um, we do not know yet as to how long. Um, we, we don't even know the nature of the strike yet. Um, but it seems to be headed that direction. Um, so we'll see how long they go for. Um, I don't know whether. I don't know. Something cuddly that tears people's faces off on a, uh, with regularity. Um, yeah, but except they don't, Zippy. They don't. Um, and anarchists do, historically. Like, uh, North American uh, New Age anarchists. Um, yeah, I'm thinking something in the cat territory. Yeah. Drop bears. <laughs> hey, Bush. <laughs> Fucking drop bears. Um, oh, by the way, is anybody um, anybody buying books? I, I've been offering this up. If you're buying um, theory books recently... Or you're going to be buying theory books? Let me know. I've got 25% off plus free shipping code for uh, Firestorm Co-op. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be something in the Cats family, for sure. Um, Puma, I like I like a, a jaguar, a jaguar. <laughs> I like a I like a good jaguar. That's that's definitely. Um, I wouldn't mind that being our. I wouldn't that mind that being a fucking representative of my ideology. Yeah. Yeah, kitty. Yeah. Diva, like, hey, that looks like my icon. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind that, but yeah. So, BNSF is going on strike. Um, oh, what else did I really want to talk about? Oh, yeah, here. Um, y'all want to see some cursed shit? Here, I'll, 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 I'll fucking pollute you with some cursed shit. There you go. It's light on guns. You're right. It is light on guns. It is light on guns. You you, you are correct. Admittedly so. Um. Oh, God. Did y'all see? Oh, God. This is so bad. This is so bad. I, I, this, this causes me pain. All right. This causes me like physical pain. All right. So like know that. I 
don't understand the internet. Like where do we hold all of the information in the internet? Is there crystals or what's holding the information? It's usually um, some kind of like um, hard drive technology. What are so, those made of? What's that? What are they made of? Uh, yeah, I think ultimate, yeah, ultimately so, so silicon. Yeah. 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 There are crystals, yeah. Yeah. There Okay, that's all that wants to be. Okay. Thank you. Just know that hurts me more than it hurts you. Just, 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 just know that hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> Caboose, yeah, you may be the the exception. Um, I, yeah, yeah. <sighs> God, that pained me when I saw it first. I was, I was just, it killed me inside. It killed me inside. I was like, oh fuck me. First the tubes. It's a series of fucking tubes. Now it's a goddamn fuck. Oh god. Fucking A. You need to offer a special rate on a reading? Oh, yeah. For sure, she'll go in on that. Uh, she'll she'll definitely be in on that. Are you kidding me? Fucking, that's, that's some fucking doofy, hippie, crystal mom shit if there ever was. She just wanted to hear that the internet was made out of crystals. That's all she wanted. She just did I, I, good on good on the fucking dude who, oh God, the fucking, that's the internet. Oh shit, don't drop it. Um, fuck it. <laughs> they, they just panic and they just riot. They drop it. Um, good on the dude who's just like, yeah, yeah, it's crystals. Yeah. Like, can we get this bitch out of here? Just fucking sure, it's crystals. Uh-huh. It's crystals. Can you just keep it moving? That's a, that's a public meeting, right? Like that's a public meeting. That's like some town hall shit, right? You know that, right? Like that's city council meeting. And this, this, this crazy bitch is just like fucking what? I don't understand the internet. I'm sorry. What does this have to do with like, I don't know the, the, the like policy change vis-a-vis -vis the parks, uh, parks and recreation department that we're having, we're doing. Right, like that was completely apropos of nothing, and you know it. She just went up there to ask a city council meeting what what's the internet made out of, dude. That's some crazy shit. Like, yeah, yeah, it's crystals. Is that what you need to hear? It's crystals. Cool. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, dude. Honestly, God help us. Reiki for your smartphone. Uh, um, my mayor's a bit of a kook. I mean, I'm not surprised. It happens. Fuck it, she could have just Googled it. <laughs> and gotten a real answer? Because that, that answer wouldn't have fucking told her... That it was crystals. I mean, there's an argument to be made. You know, silicon is crystalline in form. It's, 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 we could abstract it to the point where it's, it's kind of, kind of what she wants to hear, I suppose. But no, ultimately, no. <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Silicons, crystals, sure, go with it. Like, right? Like, that's, it, it's. Yeah, there's some piezo uh, piezoelectric crystals uh, used for clocks. Um, I just, I couldn't. When I saw that, I was just like, oh, God, hurt me. Oh, is there anything else that I wanted to fucking. Holographic fractals because I told her I work with 3D art. Oh, Jesus. 
Won't put internet in the town hall. Town employees have no direct deposit, and he dresses up in Civil War garb. Lovely. <clears throat> Oh, speaking of doofy motherfuckers, um, well, the real, um, people are already spending millions of dollars on fake real estate in the metaverse. This is just second life all over again. Um, fucking some dumb motherfucker paid $450,000 to be Snoop Dogg's neighbor in, in, in some virtual world. It's worse than Second Life. Like, uh, yep, yep, Libra, are you there? Yeah, as you say it, yeah, some motherfucker paid 450k to be Snoop Dogg's virtual neighbor. Snoop spent two mil. Oh, for fuck's sake! At least Snoop's got the money. Yeah, Amorous. I, I fuck. Yeah, sure she was. Um. Second life with rapper mascots. Uh. Another hot metaverse world is the Sandbox, where Janine Yorio's virtual real estate development company, Republic Realm, spent a record $4.3 million on a per parcel of virtual land. Yorio tells CNBC her company sold 100 virtual private islands last year for $15,000 each. Today, they're selling for about $300,000 each, which is coincidentally the same as the average home price in America. I hope every single one of these people loses their investment. I 100% hope that. I hope every, I hope the entire thing, I hope a f antitrust lawsuit comes crashing down on metaverse and, uh, and fucking Facebook is required to like dissolve the entire thing and everybody loses every single fucking cent. Even if you're overextended and you didn't have the money to spend with in the first place and you're hard up in America, I hope every single fucking person who invests in that bullshit takes a hard loss. Yeah. Interesting, Cruz. Yeah, housing bubble for fucking Facebook. Um, I I I hope the whole thing just dies a horrible, horrible death. Honestly, I hope Google buys it and then just stops using it. Because Google, like, outmodes projects all the time, right? Like, Google just fucking shuts projects down. I hope Google buys it and just goes, I don't know what to do. We don't know what to do with it and shuts it down. I, I honestly... Oh! Can we talk about the negative effects of wearing virtual reality headsets? Have any of you motherfuckers actually put on a virtual reality headset? That shit fucks with your head. It fucks with your, like, equilibrium. That legitimately... I don't think that... I don't think it's... Yeah, I, I do not think it's good for you. I think those headsets are actually bad for you. Like, physically bad for you. Yeah, oh yeah, when you come out of virtual reality, it's weird as shit. Maybe, maybe I've seen it. Um, yeah, no, it, it fucks with a lot of stuff, including your perception of reality, by the way. Um, there, I've, I've spoken to m numerous people. Um, and including myself, you put on a VR headset, spend an hour or two in some sort of virtual space, you come out, your perception of reality is warped by that. I'm not kidding you. You, you still think you're in VR to an extent. 
it fucks with your head. Like the the reality solubility that it, that occurs with like um, schizophrenic and um, sort of bipolar territory of mental illness seems to be imparted by virtual reality. You you it it causes some degree of reality solubility in those uh, that experience it for any length of time. It's weird as fuck. It take zippy couple hours, few minutes depends on the person. Um. I've, I've, I've heard like first time I heard it was years ago with one of my buddies who got a whole bunch of kit and he said, dude, when first time I took my headset off, he said, it didn't feel real anymore. Like it didn't feel real. Like reality felt fake too. It fucks with your head. Honestly, I'm, I'm calling it now. Like there's going to be a whole host of weird knock on effects and ramifications of adopting this technology. Libra, I used to VR heads uh, set like four years ago, used it for 30 minutes. My equilibrium was already off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Zippy, 100%. 100%. No, it, it's, it's, I, I would be really freaked out if, if somebody were like had already reality solubility, schizophrenia, that sort of thing, they put on a virtual reality headset. Caboose, congratulations. You're really well grounded in reality. I don't know if that's the autism or not. Um, but you're really grounded in reality then, Caboose. Congratulations. That's a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. It fucks with people's heads. I've spoken to numerous people who have had this same effect. You take the headset off and you're like, things are weird now. Um, oh, it's that song with just a weird long lead out. Okay. Um, <laughs> being grounded in reality sucks. It does, doesn't it? Um, I, 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 I'm not a fan of VR until you get like a full jack us in sort of shit. I'm not a fan of VR. I like augmented reality. I like AR tech. I think AR tech could be, um, really fascinating, um, as a sort of like developmental, aspect of like the next era of human society it could be really interesting um but i'm not a fan of vr oh if they have predisposition zippy potentially potentially um yeah not <laughs> you'd be an insufferable pain in the ass what do you mean he would be zippy uh, love you, Caboose. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um. I can type. It's, it's shit, Wither. Metaverse at present is crap. Um, shit like this. Um, and if you want to know my, my like flat out opinion, I posted as a quote on, uh, on the comments, uh, the metaverse will be heavily censored by AI. Everything will be corporate beige. All virtual bodies will be round, inoffensive and sexless. And yet somehow it will still be full of Nazis. So, yeah, there you go. I agree, Caboose. Amorous, not if they don't allow user-generated content. I'm with Caboose on this one. If they lock that behind uh, company-built content, 
fuck it. It's it's metaverse is going to be the equivalent any user created content sections. It's going to end up being the uh, the equivalent of a Wix website. Here are the tools we give you to create create your content, and anything beyond that is inaccessible, undoable. It's going to be completely locked. It's fucking useless. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in that camp too. We'll find a way around it. Yeah, it's called just get rid of fucking Facebook. Um. Is there anything else I want to show? Wow. Well, Oh, yeah, you want to make uh, fucking tankies re? Here. Cat, you're going to love this. Cupcake, you tell me. Uh, <laughs> pet crop, thanks for the follow. Um, you tell me, Cupcake. You tell me. Uh, check shared content. What am I looking for? Oh. And this is his trophy winch, made Madeline. Jesus Christ, Caboose, you got on that fast. All right, who wants to see it? See, communists do eat babies. <laughs> uh, all right, wait. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I gotta um. Fucking, I'll just download it. Screw it. Save it. There we go. Um. All right. And. All right. Let's do this. Fucking caboose. Jesus Christ. Uh, che, you missed a uh, you missed a map. That's what you missed, Che. The Chinese cannibal is a map. Um. Uh, all right. Caboose, our fucking Photoshop and fucking Adobe and me master here. And this is his trophy winch, made Madeline. <laughs> it's in shared content if anybody wants it. Caboose, I love you and you know it. Hey, Grimpy. Um, all right, let me get that back on. Where was it? Already had Anarcho Meatheads open in another tab. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ding. <laughs> uh, Caboose's Caboose's arm, uh, armor didn't ding because uh, he was he was too busy uh, making the meme. Use Da Vinci Resolve. No Adobe involved in the making of this meme. Uh, yeah, poor Mort. <laughs> uh, Caboose is life. Yep, Caboose gets the job done. That's for goddamn sure. Uh, what are you listening to? You are listening to uh, Encrypted over on Stream Radio. Uh, if you want the exact song, I can give you that. If you want the playlist included, I can give you that. Um, there's, the, there's the link. So, there you go. All right, 
hold on. Shared content. Where is it? Fucking. I'm going to pin that shit. There we go. Pinned content as well. Alright. Get OBS back up. Hey, you're welcome, very little beef. Um, oh, it's been a stream, hasn't it? <clears throat> it's been a fucking stream. I did some drama fucking... I did some, like, streamer drama in the beginning, which I normally try not to do. Um, I fucking went on some tirades and rants about fucking bad actors. I showed off a little. Um, <clears throat> bye, Puka. Love your face, too. Um, is the crystal lady in shared content? No, the crystal lady is not in shared content. Um... Here's, here's... Yeah, some very, um, yeah, you're right, fucking Joe. A solid life advice part, uh, part as well. Um, <laughs> you love her. Well, there's the link uh, in chat for you, uh, Zippy. Um, yeah, honestly, I kind of, I, I kind of satisfied with this stream. I'm kind of satisfied with this stream. Um, also, we, um, yeah, withers because a lot of people don't understand post leftism. You know my opinion on post- Why are you asking my opinion on post-leftism? I am post-left. Um, yeah. Hour-long motivational speech. Honestly, I'm- I'm content. Um, post- Post-leftism, as long as you're not a fucking Twitter idiot, Wither, is about- <laughs> is, is- See, this is your problem, Wither. You fucking spend too much time in, like, online spaces and shit, right? Um... If you're not a if you're not a twidiot, um, post leftism traditionally, um, as derived from, uh, I am a post left post anarchist. Wither, hence post gang rise up, right? Like that's um, post leftism is about an anarch uh, is an anarchist ana anarchistic analysis of leftist ideologies and a critique of some of the uh, stratagems and tendencies contained within leftist ideologies from the position and viewpoint of an anarchist. It, uh, it talks about professionalism and sort of segmentation and the concretion that occurs within uh, rigid hierarchical structures that are often employed by statists that are also uh, within the leftist space, right? Um, so, yeah, I am most assuredly, right? Um, the authoritarian who wanted to kill all reactionaries disappeared in a puff of contradictory statements. They, yeah, as Zippy said, they always do. I was almost going to say the exact same things that they always do. Hey, non-binary. Um, non-binary. You want some like sexy, sexy man stuff? Go to uh, Anarcho Meatheads uh, on Discord and you'll see. We, it got shown on stream. It got shown on stream, non-binary. But if you want to if you want to see some sexy, sexy, sexy man stuff, it's in Meatheads. Um... As close as we could fi figure it out, non-binary. As close as we could figure it out. Yeah. Um, I read the terms of service. I read the community guidelines. It seemed I was within... I was within the acceptable margin, shall we say. Um, so. Is what it is. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm content with what was accomplished. We smacked down some vax, uh, like anti-vax nonsense. Um, I got, dude, I got to throw in a bunch of punches on that dummy Joe Rogan. I'm happy with that. I got to call out non-compete as a fake anarchist. I'm happy with that too. Um. Um, let's see. hang on. Yeah, yeah, shit. Hey, ask shitting on Joe Rogan's always a good time. Y 
Yeah, you can see it. Non-binary. I just went in there. You can see it. It's called Anarcho-Meatheads. It's not just Meatheads. It's Anarcho-Meatheads. Um, talk to L. L had some takes that did not align with the community. Um, and y'all were, eh, y'all were a little, y'all were a little hard on L. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there. Y'all were a little hard on L. Um, but it did save me from being hard on L. I will, I will admit that. Um, that was some interesting takes that L had. Um, I'll, I'll be generous. Um... It, 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 um, yeah, that, that would definitely was an interpretation of something. Hey, fucking cat, you could have jumped in, you know it. Um, yes, non-binary, um, you know, putting in fucking work, right? Putting in fucking work. Um, <sighs> it? Yeah, it's, 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 it is. Um, why is that? There we go. Um, refresh, refresh, refresh. What do I got? All right, I'm gonna let you guys pick M3 Hammer or Story Girl. Um, Zippy, sleep well. Well, so far it's an even split. Uh, one's doing uh, Dead by Daylight, and I think Gemma might be doing like music production. No, uh, Gemma's playing Minecraft. Um, Gemma's playing Minecraft and, uh, M3's playing Dead by Daylight. Yeah. So. Gemma. Looks like Minecraft has it either way. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do a fucking, uh, I gotta do a fucking leg workout. Dude, leg days are always a thing. Leg days are always a thing. Um, uh, so, yeah, Joe, fucking, I'm going to be on voice chat afterwards. I can do my leg workout talking to people. Um, so I'm going to be on voice chat afterwards for a little bit, for sure. Um, so, yeah. You Buddhist 50 out of 61, you cucks. Um, Buddhist knows my feelings on that one. Uh, Rocky, thank you for the follow. Um, ah, Joe, we'll get you there. We'll get you back, Joe. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, look for me on VC afterwards. Um, I need to, I need to put some more carbs in me, though, before I get a proper workout in, though. Um, to doubled up on the those there. Uh, eh, this is what it is, Joe. No worries. But, yeah, it was a good stream. Um, and th for those of you who hung out for, like, Kai's motivational rants and ramblings and shit... Thanks. Um, if it's, you know, I got to get that off my chest from time to time. Try and motivate some of you fuckers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read out to Gemma. Say hi. Yeah, you're welcome. Everyone, till tomorrow. Bad movie night. Let's see.